Good evening, and happy Friday. I'm your host, Tyndall. Alright guys, we're gonna get into it, cause this song is just a little too fucking quiet. So, I'm Tyndall, I'm joined by T. What's up, T? Not too much, how's everybody doing out there? Hope you're ready for a good show tonight. Um, I'm not as drunk as last week, but I am drunk. <laughs> last week was a trip. And we're also joined by Heggy Rants. Hey now, I don't know if you fixed your volume dude, but it was very quiet when I was listening. The music or me? Both. Both of them. And everybody in the comments, everybody in the comments is saying that you're too quiet, so. Um, okay, well, I just upped everything, I mean, so give me a sound check, guys. You sound good to me, but maybe in the fucking, in the goddamn shit, it might be quiet. I do not know. How do we sound, guys? How do we sound? What's up on a Friday night, everybody? What's up, y'all? Green Dream? Green Dream in the motherfucker? What's up? Alright, looks like I'll they're saying you. it's K now. I'll tell you why it's my last motherfucking show, and it, and it is, but yeah, we'll yeah, get to that. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. So, well, shit, I don't know, just, you talk. <laughs> uh, what's up, y'all? Like, man, goddamn. So, yo, were y'all here Wednesday? Were y'all here Wednesday with the show? I mean, <laughs> we, had, we had a good God, show. God, Wednesday, man. <laughs> it wasn't even, it wasn't even planned out. It was kind of a fucking, it was just a, I don't know, man. It was just a fucking dumbass show, like. All we wanted to do was get motherfucking Hubbard in here, and I mean, I don't know, man. What the fuck to say? T fucking talk, bitch. I don't know. It's it's like he's he's scared to make money or something. I guess he just likes having no money and having no shirt. And well, can I? All right, here's the here's the thing that really bothers me, man. Is if you watch his like latest videos, he's like he'll talk about people going after people's families and their loved ones and shit. But his best friend. Has gone after everyone's family, not just like one person's family. Yeah, everyone. That's K, though. That's K, though. How is that and K? But everyone well, else, it's not K. I'm gonna, I'm Please explain. explain. To you. Somebody put, somebody posted a meme earlier into the Discord. Hey, yep. It's K. Okay, listen, listen. If I tell you I'm gonna kill you, if I tell you I'm gonna kill myself, if I tell you I'm gonna blow up a federal building, it's K. As long as when you do it, you say, the next day you say. I'm showing the effects of bullying. So, like, if you were to bully me, so I go say I'm going to, you know, blow up the earth, it's K. You understand? What the fuck, dude? It... That's the hub of logic. And, you know. Does he really believe that, though? Or does he know that he's just totally full of shit? I, dude, I. That's where, I... that's my, that's my biggest question on all these things with him. Does he know or does he not know? Is he, where is he? On that line uh, of knowing I've, right I've from wrong to, and not. No, I've, I've came to the conclusion that if he walked into a movie theater and shot <clears throat> 38 people, he would be declared insane. Oh, for sure. But yeah. let me... <clears throat> I'm still getting over this fucking cold, man. But anyway, listen. <clears throat> hang on. Let me, let me start this motherfucker by saying that I want... To, which this is something I should do every week. I want to start off by telling everybody who's here that I appreciate you guys being here. And I want to thank the people who hate me, who are always the first ones here. But, you know, you got, I guarantee Hubbard's here. I guarantee Shrek's here. I guarantee Rotten Tooth's here. I guarantee Stalker fucking Panty Sniff is here. Everyone who hates me are always the first ones here. And I want to thank you guys because, you, you know, you guys, you guys help me pay my bills and shit. And... You know, even Father Time, Old Man Winter, posted a tweet, and somebody sent me this. Lion Bobby, Lion Crying Bobby posted a tweet saying, and I quote, 
Hubbard gave three sheets an old time ass whipping. That's what you call <laughs> that's what you call destroying somebody. So oh, and then he spelled oh what the fuck did he spell wrong, dude? Oh, Bravo. He spelled Bravo wrong. He spelled it B-R-O-V-O. Brovo. <laughs> you know, and I've known I've known that fucking idiot. I've known that fucking idiot for years. Dude can't put together a sentence. He he, he spells worse than Hubbard. What's that tell you? God. But he put, How? He put, How's that possible? He put, he put Brovo Hubbard, Brovo. And I'm like, look at this dumb motherfucker can't still can't spell. How you gonna be sixty five fucking seventy one years old and can't fucking spell <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? But this is this is this is the reason that this is my last show ever. And, you know, if you guys want to continue on, I, I hope you do. You know, I, this is it for me because the destruction, the roasting, the ass fucking that I got on Wednesday, dude. I just, I haven't slept since then. I mean, Hubbard destroyed me Wednesday. You know, bringing him onto this show, my buddy Lee Silver. Uh, I talked to him yesterday. He's like, dude, I actually timed it. Hubbard was on your show for 27 seconds. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I know the destruction that he caused, dude. I haven't slept since then. Like, if you guys missed the show Wednesday, I suggest you go back and look. Okay. I brought him into the show and I asked him what he had to say. And he goes, this is what I have to say. Fuck you. And then he ran like a bitch that he is. Well, and he I answered never- one question. He did answer one question before he did that. Right. We'll give him that. We'll get credit where credit's due. Right. Well, that haunted me, and I haven't slept since. And I, dude, I just my 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 internet career, my my internet fun, dude. I'm done. I, I this is it. I can't. So you're done way, with YouTube you know, in general, or just three so? I'm thinking about you know suicide case, sir. I mean. Oh, dude, don't make I, me call the mental hospital. Dude, well, I'm just... Who the fuck's gonna do all the baggage if you do that at the airport? Yeah, you have Somebody so much will. to live for, dude. You gotta move that baggage. Dude, but did you guys hear how I got roasted? I mean, dude, even You did, you lion, did. But even crying lion boob said, that's what you call an old-fashioned ass-whipping. Bro-vo, bro That, dude, that really hurt me. When he said bro like, that just killed me. And then, like... <laughs> Why penis pill? Why penis pill didn't didn't? Uh, why penis pill didn't chime in? I have no fucking clue. But I, dude, I cannot. I can't. I can't. I can't do this anymore. Having that on my mind, the way the way he fucking destroyed me, I just can't do it. And I'm sorry, guys. I just I can't fucking do it, man. So you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, it's it's been real, boy. Dude, I'm 37 years old, dude. And nobody has ever told me. Fuck you and ran like a bitch. Dude, I just I, I can't Don't do you it. remember that time though that he said suck my dick and have a good day, bitch? You've been roasted like one point five times salt. now. I know. I should have. Now you're do throwing that. salt. You're throwing fucking salt. Like Shit. just on I was the gonna try I was gonna try to talk you out of quitting. I wanted to talk you out of it, dude. I have never, ever in my life just, dude, I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, <laughs> dude, I just, well, if you do quit and go, can I, can I have your channel? Fuck no. Yeah, this is my channel for 1495. You can have the motherfucker. I'll give oh, you 14. I'll, I'll give you 1496. I was, I was going to pay out a whole $75 for that. On the real deal, though, uh, I ain't going no motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I think it's funny that I don't find it funny. I find it rather sad that retards actually think that that was destroying me. Like, <laughs> my man came on here for five fucking seconds and said "fuck you" and then ran like a bitch. You know what I mean? Like, let's get right into this fucking shit. What are we doing tonight, guys? What the fuck are we doing? I want to do some prank calls. I want to fucking. We got shit Whatever to talk about. Do, We've like, got. I want to do prank. Well, we we told people we would do pranks, and I, I was seeing a lot of requests for like throwback characters. They're requesting like Jamal, Bill Oxford, um, who else was it? I don't know. They were asking for like some old school shit, like last year characters. Well, let's let's start off by talking about 
y'all seen uh did y'all see like the leafy is here nudes because i saw that he got <laughs> hacked or whatever like all i saw was a little skinny crackhead picture like dude like wh- who gives a fuck like i think he got hacked but the picture that they that they fucking released was just like he looked like a fucking retard like who cares well that's what he's probably embarrassed dude he looks like he's on drugs man if you look at him before and you look at him now he's all pale he's got like acne and he looks all fucked up no no no, dude you gotta understand though he's like what's up guys i sit in my bedroom all day and don't get any sun that's all that is man he's not like i wouldn't go as far as calling him sickly he just i don't know dude. dude the guy the guy's a millionaire you know, he sits in his bedroom all day and pulls his goalie and plays with his ding ding. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens, dude. Like, that's the next. That's the next fucking scammer, Melanie JT boy. I mean, <laughs> goddamn. Well, I, I mean, I fuck. think I think he he wasn't even upset about it because he, I, I think like his views have been way fucking down and he had been losing subs and shit because oh, he yeah. just got you, he he. You have, when you have four and a half million views and get two hundred thousand, when you have four and a half million subs and get two hundred thousand views, you're you're pulling Jeff tutorials type shit in there. You know what I mean? Eighty six thousand yeah. subscribers and you get nine hundred views a vid. Something's wrong. See, so this gave him like a little bit of PR, you know, to and then maybe he's going to use that as a chance to try to make better content because you know he gained a bunch of subs from this and he wants to try continent. to hold on to them. Continent. Yes. Continent. He's going to get some good continents out there, dude. I really think uh, You so. know, honestly, man, I don't give a fuck. I don't watch Leafy. I never have. I think his videos suck. I don't want to watch some retard play a video game and just talk about people I don't know about. You know what I mean? I, don't I used to watch him, but he, he gets really, like, I don't know. He got repetitive, and then he started doing fake shit. And that's what I don't like is that fake bullshit. Like, and, like you if you're like going to do... You mean, you mean like what we did at the beach? What? What did we fake at the, the beach? Fucking them juggies. Oh, well, that was like a one-time prank. If you do a whole series, like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, fucking, yeah. like, like fit. Nuggets. Yeah, because when he, like, the last, when I really stopped, like, completely ever paying attention to him was when he started with that Billy the Fridge shit. Yeah, and then that, that, well, it was all some fake Fugazi shit. And, like, I just don't like, when you know you have kids that watch you and you do shit like that, I just, I don't know, it just feels fucked up. I don't like it. Well, yeah, when you're, when you're like Larry Lugie and you know you're years old and all you do is tell him to drink fucking beer. Did you see Big Brother tweeted me earlier though? Like yeah. <laughs> Big 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 Brother Big Brother, whatever the fuck he calls himself, you know, big scammer fuck. His uh he put a poll on Twitter and he's like, How often do you guys want vids? Once a day, twice a day, once a week, once a month? And I put never. <laughs> and like that was like the biggest like it got all kinds of <laughs> likes and then even that dumb he liked like himself. That, yeah, he liked it himself, and I'm like, yo, is that really him? And it was, and I was just, ah, dumb fuck. I would love to but, see his ass come on the show. To quit your job and become a YouTuber when your YouTube channel's not going to, like, he don't make money on YouTube like his brother did. He never will either. He sucks. His videos are garbage. His shit was handed to him. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Well, they live with mommy listen, and daddy, listen, and they saved listen, up money. Listen. If you want to be a YouTuber that can live off of YouTube, you cannot have your channel handed to you, like, like, look at fucking, look at Charlie, Charlie Pill Popper. <laughs> look at fucking, well, he didn't want to work anyway. He's a fucking lazy Democrat. But look at like, look, could you imagine if McCain's farm did that shit? Like when they hit 100,000 subs, dude, look at, look at McCain's farm now, dude. They got fucking. I wonder like, how bad they are right now. I'm going to go. Dude, look. They're getting, they're averaging like 30 views a day and they have over 100,000 subscribers. It's fucking sad. It's funny as hell, but. Just like Charlie Pillpop. 116,000 subs, and their but last their- video has 863 views. That's high, though. That's high for them. That's, like, really high. God damn. Dude, this is just... Why don't they just stop? Yeah, like, dude, get stop YouTube. Stop. You have 110,000 subscribers that were handed to you, and you make a video and get five views. Stop. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> it's time to stop. Oh, oh fuck! Man. Well, speaking what? of Larry Lugie, because he came up for a second, did you see how they're doing? Um, fucking, they're doing these weird shit where they have like you know green screen behind them and they put on wigs and they pretend to be drunk and talk about shit. So no, basically, no. they listen to our show and then they do a shitty like. Well, didn't he didn't he make fun of me in one of his videos? He called me a woman or some stupid shit. Well, yeah, that's when we roasted his ass. What like two weeks ago? No, he, he, he yeah he called you a woman and a piece of shit and stuff. 
um, stuff. Yeah, Clean and stuff. everything. So, Dude, so I guess I guess Larry Lu Lugie must hate women then, since that's so his way of insulting somebody is calling yeah. them women. Pretty much. Well, even Hubbard like made a video earlier, and he even put Larry. He put. He still calls him Larry Lugies. God damn, Hubbard. I gotta piss up right Man, back they're, to the show, bitch. Dude, uh, Big Brother and them are all down at the Outer Banks, dude. I wish we would have been there at the same time. <laughs> I've been tweeting yeah, out like, yo, we're here, man, live streaming. Like, what's up? Y'all want to talk? But uh, they probably were going down the same time we were. They found out, and then they changed their trip. I wouldn't be, yeah, especially if... Like, like honest to God, I think they would. Like, because you know, dude, they definitely watch us and know what the fuck is going on. Well, they must if that shit's happening and Larry goes out of his way to block every one of our fans. Like, there's definitely, he's paying attention. Yeah, and I mean, he's still, he's clearly salty if he's, you know, because he went, like, he literally had to go to the channel because the picture he used in his video is the thumbnail. So, he, you know that the video that we made where Hagee does that, um, I think I'm done shit really pissed him off. You know, you know the fucked up shit about Big Brother is like, He's trying to hop on this fake video type shit. He acts like he wasn't invited to the beach, <coughs> and he was. And then he's like, I'm a homeless on the beach. Motherfucker, <coughs> you know goddamn well you're staying in your fucking house that your parents rented. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dude, for real. <coughs> I keep coughing. It's fucking cold, dude. You gotta quit them gritties, Boy. bro. It ain't the gritties, man. It's the fucking cold. But anyway, um, how are you going to be like acting like you're... I'm gonna follow my. I'm gonna... You're cutting out really Which... bad, dude. Really? Let me reconnect. I gotta say though, out out of that family, I th I think the big brother. He's he is the most entertaining one out of them. Yeah, well, but to be like, I'm following my family to the beach. They don't know it, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> How are they gonna try to keep playing off this fake shit? Come on, man. Like, who are you trying to fool? Nine-year-olds? I mean, come on. Like, honestly, who are you trying to fool? And that's the sad thing, is there's people out there that are I actually believe it. fooled by it. Like, what is wrong with people? And then he's like, well, I stalked my family. I followed them to the beach. Now I'm homeless living on the beach. Shut the fuck up. I thought you, I thought you had this big YouTube career, but now you're homeless? I thought he was in politics and stuff like that, or did that not work? Well, see, they're, they're doing fake shit, man. Like, that's li they're doing these weird-ass series, and that's why, like, yeah, we... How can you survive off of that, though? Like, even Jesse knew when to quit. Even McJuggernaut's knew when to quit. Nah, they make, enough, like, they make enough money to survive. They're not, like, balling, but they don't have to do shit. They just make fucking dumbass fake videos, and they can pay their bills. They live with Mommy and Daddy, yeah, dude. But, well, I mean, true. I mean, I guess if I live with Mommy and Daddy, YouTube could pay my bills, too, I guess. I guess. I mean, no, nah, well, dude, if you live with Mommy and Daddy, and then you did work as an accountant, probably saved up money, you Mom, know... Mom, meatloaf! Yeah, exactly. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Get a little, get a little hungry. Get a little hungry. I'm just, I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah, and we gotta figure too. Just because he said he was an accountant on their channel doesn't mean it's true. Look how much shit they said in their channel. It, that could be a lie too. Maybe he didn't. Well, maybe he's never had a job. Like I've said, dude, they are the biggest scamming fucking family. Just to be proud of that, like I, I, man, it just, I don't get it. Like all you're doing is scamming fucking kids. I don't. That's just something I don't want to do. I, I don't get that. Like, how can you be proud of that? Like, you're lying to a bunch of nine-year-olds. And that's the problem I had from the beginning. You built this empire on lying to eight-year-olds. To me, that's just fucked up, man. I, I, they, I they, they, what they do is they fucking rationalize it by being like, oh, these kids like to watch us and da-da-da. It's like, okay, they like to watch you. They get entertained, but... Dude, look at the the content of just the original Psycho series. It's completely inappropriate for children. It's completely inappropriate. Oh, totally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but whatever pays the bills, right? I mean, look at Larry. That stupid bastard. Let me wear this neck brace and fool these <laughs> nine-year-olds. So he gets 700,000 subscribers. Hey, Cody, you can go suck my fucking cock. Change the subject. Leave, motherfucker. Green, block that motherfucker. Nobody wants your dumb ass here anyway change the subject yeah you know why because this whole fucking show is for you bro this whole fucking show is suited to what you want to hear i'll tell you what cody go fuck yourself go watch larry lugie you fucking stupid juggy change the subject i don't want to hear about this anymore fucking leave then motherfucker this show ain't based around you you stupid fuck get the fuck out of here 
and come back with 14 different fucking accounts like the rest of the motherfuckers that hate me do. I don't ask you to come in here and listen to fucking shit. You came here on your goddamn own, and you want to fucking say, uh, I don't want to hear about this anymore. Motherfucker, I'll tell you what we'll do next week, Cody, you stupid fuck. <laughs> We're going to make a whole show entitled to what you want to hear. Um, I want to hear about the hockey playoffs. I'll tell you what, motherfucker. Next week, we'll talk about the San Jose Sharks playing the Los Angeles fucking whatever the fuck. Just so we can keep you fucking happy. No, he's a juggy. I just looked at his channel. Of course he's video. a fucking juggy. The only juggy. video he's ever put up was a freaking one about McChuggernuggets a year ago that got like five views. So yeah. All I have to say, all I have 55 people, I'm going to try to fucking make you happy. Eat my balls. Have a nice day, Casey. <laughs> oh my God. All I can say the is. Fuck else I roast the fuck tonight, man. Bring the motherfuckers in here. Bring them the fuck in here. You know, come in here and be like, I don't want to hear about this. Then fucking leave, motherfucker. I don't want you fucking nine-year-olds here anyway. How many goddamn times I got to fucking say that? You motherfuckers want to come into my show, and you want to fucking tell me what to fucking talk about, man? Fucking leave. Get the fuck out of here. Go watch Jesse. Go watch fucking Big Brother. Oh, you know, I'm 30 years old and got to say Brother. Your whole channel was handed to you, you motherfucking fugazi fuck. And you go watch that neck brace piece of fucking shit. Fucking goddamn, this is the shit that I'm fucking tired of, man. This is the fucking shit that I'm tired of. You know, these fucking eight-year-olds want to come in here, and they want to tell me what the fuck I'm allowed to say? Motherfucker, where are your parents at? Where are your mommy at? Where are your fucking daddy at? They don't give a fuck about you, you goddamn Jeff Tutorial wannabe. Fuck this fucking shit. <laughs> oh, dude. Brovo. 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 <laughs> Hashtag Brovo. Congrats, a new meme is born. Well, so I wonder how, how Larry's one million sub party is going. Is he, is he still planning that, or did he just give up on that? Uh, Dude, I, he I can't. Know. I was looking at his views earlier. <laughs> he can't crack 10K views with, you know, well, not 700,000 anymore. He's at, what, like 680 or something like that? But he can't crack 10K views with that many subs without doing a video saying, like, I'm quitting. Like, he's like, yeah, exactly. he's like the older version of Hubbard. Like, instead of saying he's going to fucking kill himself, he's just like, I'm quitting YouTube because nobody wants to watch my, my continents and everything. That, that's just, that, that, I mean, that's, that's how he is now, dude. And they make these dumbass videos. Dude, they're sitting there standing up, laying down, drinking Corona light. Acting like they're fucking wasted shit, dude. It's just, they're acting so, like, just why not actually get drunk? You got a fake getting drunk too? You got fucking Corona Light right there. Drink 10 of them. Maybe you'll get a buzz. Maybe. Jesus, dude. It's just. It, it, and then <laughs> he wants to like talk shit about us. And then his dumbass video is a stupid fucking version of what we do. Except not live. And they're not, not funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're. God damn, dude! Like, here's 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 how here's how it goes when when Larry wants to make a video. So he he goes onto YouTube, he'll click on the trending tab, he'll look at the top five videos, and he'll pick one of those topics, and then he'll copy it, sit there with his buddy in front of their green screen, mm -hmm. make make a half hour, forty five minute video that nobody cares about, and wonder why he can't get no views on it. You know that shit'll be at least ten minutes. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> at least this shit's usually twenty minutes or longer. See, I think that's I think that's a lot of problem with these YouTubers like him and Jesse that are that were big and they're failing. They start they start losing their views, so they start pumping out longer videos, thinking it'll help. But who wants to sit there and watch a half? Like I've noticed on Jesse's channel, he's got like forty five minute videos. Who wants to watch that shit? The five, yeah, like ten video he used to be able to get better. away with like the double uploads and the long uploads when he's doing the Psycho series. But it's like, dude, you you got to change your whole dynamic because see, if I were him. I would have not gone back to doing fake shit. Like, after you came out, because, like, that's what he had going for him on that series, is he had so many fucking idiots believing that it was real. And so he should have just fucking been like, okay, well, fuck, the fake shit's over with. I need to actually go make real comedy or real entertainment. But I guess all he knows how to do is just make up shit, but it's not even entertaining. Like, you know, we were talking about it the other week when he was at Boogie's, like, it was so cringy. It's just basically like, Boogie, uh, promote my new series where I act fucking crazy. And uh, just like I did in my other series, which is regurgitated version of it. And also, please shout out my brother's channel. He doesn't want to have to work anymore. And you can just well, tell that Boogie's like, what the fuck is this shit? 
McJuggernuggets and them, they're like fucking Nickelback. You know, they get one hit and they just keep copying it and, and tweaking it a little bit and saying it's something exactly. different. Exactly. And it's the they, same fucking thing. They become a meme. Yep. Man, that's, that's just so fucking funny. But while, uh, since we brought up Boogie, let's talk about Boogie. Um, you know, you know, that's the shit that I'm saying. Like, how long can this fake shit go on? Forever? Why is everyone trying? But why? The, why is this big brother fuck trying to do fake shit now? Like, I know it worked out for your brother, but that shit's fugazi. It's played out, man. Like, it ain't gonna get you nowhere. Like, look at his views. His views, shit. Like, yeah. No, I wish I was getting two hundred thousand views a vid, but I don't have a million subs. You know, if I had a million subs, I mean, I'd probably get the same thing. But why are they? Why the fuck? What's what's with the fake shit? Like. Yeah, it worked out for Scam and Jesse. That worked out for him. Great. Good for him. Good for him. Glad he made a couple million dollars scamming little nine-year-olds. Good for him. But now now, now, fucking his brother's trying to do it. Like, uh, I don't want to have a job where I have to actually contribute to society. Let me try to do YouTube. Like, he ain't making money to quit his job, dude. That's all a fucking lie. Just like being fucking homeless on the beach. Like, dude, now, and I know, I understand a lot of nine-year-olds are like, oh my god, Jeffrey, oh my god, you're homeless, let me send you my piggy bank money. And that's what he's trying to fucking do, dude, and it's fucking sad. It's fucked up. And then you got this fucking Larry piece of shit. I am a Christian. The motherfucker wears a shirt that says, no hate needed, only love, as he has his middle fingers up, <laughs> telling me to go fuck <laughs> Like, what the fuck is that shit? Come on, man. It's hey, dude. I'm telling you, he's the older version of Hubbard. I guarantee you, he's sitting he at is. home right now, the listening to like our show, guy, just getting looks like, triggered as fuck. Like a, the guy looks like a spent condom. I mean, come on, look <laughs> at his. Like, dude, honestly, he got that fucking wife beater on, and didn't he go to jail for beating up his wife before? Yeah, he got that wife beater on, all that hairy fucking shit. He got a muscle shirt on and no muscles, looking like a spent condom. I mean, come on, man. And you want to talk shit on me? I mean, like, goddamn. How you going to wear a shirt that says, I am a good Christian. I love God. By the way, fuck you. Like, did Jesus Christ tell people to go fuck themselves? Come on, man. That's Dude. the shit that I'm talking about. And your entire audience is fucking pre-teen. Pre-pube fucking teens, man. Come on, bro. And you're telling these motherfuckers to drink Coronas and shit? Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I wonder how many of those Corona caddies he's fucking sold. Probably one or two. Yeah, let me sell some bracelets that say, No, just love. Yet, yeah, for the king of blocking. I don't know who blocked. You're cutting out What's again, up, dude. guys? God damn, why? I don't know. Hang up and come back in. What's up, guys? I'm back. And in today's... <laughs> dude, I gotta do a fucking call as... as do it. Do I it. Let me find a fucking phone number, dude. I'm getting fucking pissed now. I'm getting fucking pissed off at this whole scamming fucking family. It's like, the, said, it seems like everyone that, you know, wants to fucking start shit with us is either a scammer or a stalker. I don't know what it is, but like right now, I feel like all these motherfuckers are either a scammer, a stalker, or both. That's what I'm saying, dude. Why everybody that hates us is like a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Why can't we have normal people hating on us? Why can't somebody like, why can't like Boogie, like I love Boogie, I think that guy's awesome. Why can't he hate on us? Because I'll tell you what, if he ever checked out the show or the channel or whatever, he'd be like, yo, everything they're saying is true though. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He'd be and like, they're kind of dicks be, about it, but they are. And I'm, but... <laughs> not, I'm not talking, I'm not talking Edward Hubbard truth. I'm talking like honest to God truth. But anyway, let me, let me do a fucking call real quick, dude, just to clear my head, just to clear my fucking Do it, head. do it, do it. <sighs> We're gonna come back and talk more about Boogie though after this call. I wanted to talk about some other. I just gotta though. do one real quick. I gotta do a GTA call real quick, just a fucking something to do, man. Let me just see what happens. Fuck do it, do it. Here we go. Here we you go. know he's listening. He oh, loves these, it. man. <laughs> got nothing else to do. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Jeff. I was wondering if you had GTA um, for the PlayStation 4. As the original one, like you no, no, no. GTA 5. And with that being said, I want to do like without any further ado, I want to get like GTA 5 because 
I don't want a used one though. I want a new one. PS4. Yeah. With that being said, for the PS4, yes. Uh, yes, we do have. Um, we have them in stock brand new for twenty nine ninety nine. Oh wow! Now, when I called, you said something about trading in select games. Correct. Well, tell me about it. What games? I got a bunch. Of, I'm sorry. I got a. With that being said, and without any further ado, I have a bunch of games I want to get rid of. Yeah, so we uh, take in, uh, we, we can uh, give you store credit or cash um, for, for your games, as long as they're in good condition. Yeah. yeah. Well, do what about, can you, can I trade in shark cards? PlayStation 4, with that being said, for the PS4 giveaways, because I give away shark cards. But nobody okay, yeah, we would, nobody ever we wins, though. Would. But nobody ever wins, though. You know what I mean? I do, <laughs> I, um, I do a, a YouTube channel where I give away shark cards. It, what it does is, with that being said, it brings a lot of kids to my channel. They subscribe to me, but nobody ever wins the shark cards. But I, So I want to sell them to you and trade them in. You, it's a scam yeah. that I got going on. Yeah, so you'll take them? Um, as long as it's in good condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time do you close? Close at 9. All right, I'll see if my mom um can bring me out uh, 9 o'clock. It's 7.30 now. Without any further ado, well, see, I got to stop by Melanie's house first because she's low on air. So I got to go fill her up with air. And with <laughs> that being said, I'll be out there at like 8.30. And without any further ado, I'll bring all the shark cards I scammed the kids with, and I want to pick that. Can you lay a copy of that aside for me, please? My name is Hef Proporials. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you now. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Now I feel good now. <laughs> Dude, next time you want to do one of those, you need to come up with doing something um, – where like you're like you know um i used to really hate trump but uh i like trump now and i don't want anybody to know about it can you, you like how i had to stop at melanie's and fill her up with air? yeah that was that was the best joke of the whole thing that was quality i gotta stop by melanie's and fill her up with air because <coughs> i can't even my fucking throat's all fucked up man i got this upper respiratory fucking <coughs> infection i'm fucking sick it's bullshit not enough whiskey, that's the problem. Well, yeah, I'm about to go fucking... How long are we into this yet? Uh, we are 33 minutes. Oh, Christ. I think it's time for a break so I can go get another drink. I'm up for that. All right, we'll take a quick little break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. And uh, before we go, any of you guys out there listening, vape, check out vapebrite. Dot, dot, uh, what is it, .org? I think so. I forget the fucking website. Links in the I, description. Links in the description. I gotta talk to fucking Green Dream. I it's forgot, in the I was description. Ask goddamn Green Dream, what the fucking website is? Yeah, it's dot org. Yeah, he's told me a hundred fucking goddamn times, and I can't remember it. But anyway, vapebright dot org. If you vape, check them out. And you know, if you do buy shit from them, we get some of the money. They sell the uh, the vape, the fucking juices, all that shit. So check out vapebright dot org. Vape bright. Dot org link is in the description check them out buy shit from them motherfuckers buy their goddamn product they love <laughs> our show they fucking sponsor us so go buy some fucking shit from them motherfuckers and that future sponsors is how we are going to promote your product and uh you know we'll be back in a hot minute we'll be right back
we are back. At least I am. Let's see. All right, I'm back, guys. What about you? I'm here. <clears throat> oh, I bet my burp was lovely over this Beethoven. That actually just made it just perfect, actually. <laughs> I like Beethoven. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, some of that old classical stuff's really good, actually. Type uh, K in the chat if you're enjoying the music. And you guys should all also type hashtag hype in the chat because it pisses off Hagee. So I'm gonna see a bunch of K's and a bunch of hashtag hypes. Holy shit, look at him go. I said it was Beethoven. Whoever said that this is not Mozart, this is Beethoven, I said it was Beethoven. Unless you're talking to someone else. In that case, then that's K. God damn, they're spamming that chat. They are. The fuck is Hydro? How far does he gotta go to make a drink? Like, holy shit. How big is that house he's living in? Dude, who the fuck knows? I don't know. I think he's got, didn't he say he's got around 10 or 15,000 square feet in there? I mean, he's got a coding castle. All right, whatever. I'm cutting the music. Yo, I, yo. There he is, right as the music goes, dun, 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 dun. And I'm cutting it. Okay, so we're back. something I wanted to fucking say, too. How are you about Oh, shit. He sounds really fucking liquored up, dude. He does. I ran, out, I ran out of goddamn fucking ice and shit. And, and shit and stuff and everything. I want to see a one in that chat for Peter. One for Peter. By the way, there were... Hashtag Peter! <laughs> Look at all the hashtags. <laughs> They're still dropping hashtag hypes. What's that I... all about? Because I told him it pissed you off. <laughs> No, it pissed me off. Like, you pissed me the fuck off, bitch. You might even get fired after this fucking shit. I could only be so lucky. All right, Peter's up. Peter's up. Who yeah, clearly. Clearly he's up. Who the fuck? Who, who, who? Type in the chat who you want Peter to fucking call, though. Oh, that's a hard choice. Peter will call anybody. I'll bring him out of the basement. Peter! Yes, Hydro. Come on up here, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Ah. Uh, Peter's here. Peter's here, guys. Should I just bring him on the show or like? Oh, you want? P All right, Peter can call Best Buy. There you Peter go. Call Best Buy. All right, let me find one. We got one right away. <laughs> Or should Peter call the record store? Nah, what's, what's my character that does the, here come this song? Johan Gohan. Or Haran Gohan. Yeah, but you know who named him? Charlie Pillpopper's the one that named him, remember? <laughs> who cares? Let it go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That'll Johan, be a funny, that's a fun Johan. trivia fact for our fans out there. Yeah. Charlie Pillpopper is the one who named him when he was cool with us. Or what was it? Yo Johan Gohan. No, no, no. Um, shit. Haran Gahan. Uh, whatever, fuck it. I'll just wing it. Wait, what am I? Who the fuck am I calling now? Fuck it. Uh, uh we'll do. Shut up. DDoS says, what's it coming to come? Motherfucker, sound like DDoS. For product availability or sales, press one. Yeah. Delivery. One, bitch. For product availability, press one. For all other questions. I don't know what the fuck to say. In order to provide you with the best experience, please have the product SKU number ready. The SKU number can be found in the weekly app or on the Fuck you. Please enter the 5 to 8 digit SKU number of the product. Now check the availability. Man, That's fuck you. Give me an operator, bitch. Ooh. Please enter the five to eight digit secure number of the product. Give me a goddamn operator. I'll just type in random shit. Eight five six three two. It's just gonna try to look up a product, dude. You dialed the wrong number. Please 
wait while I check. Yeah, give me a call. Right. the store's inventory shows this product is not available. If the product is a major appliance or TV, quantity info can only be provided at the store. Let me call back, because I fucked up, I think. Let me call back and get, like, a fucking operator or some stupid shit. There you oh, go. What the fuck I did. Bullshit. Thanks for calling Best Buy in Jersey City. Today we are open from 10 a.m. until you. 9 p.m. Tomorrow we are open from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. I don't give a fuck. For product availability or sales, please press 1. For delivery, installation, or the status of your order, press 2. For Geek Squad services, press 3. There you go, talk to Geek Squad. <laughs> press 1. For questions about your computer or any other device, press 2. You should, porn. you should be Hubbard and ask why your video quality sucks. <laughs> why can't I get a person? What the fuck? There we go. Let me get an agent, bitch. Agent cockballs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Be like, I'm trying to recover some video. <laughs> oh, is this the Geek Squad? Okay, I bought. Um, oh, wait, hold on. What was it called? I bought the, one of the one of the gaming. Um, you guys sold me one of the towers. Now, I got it on the Y, what is it, the Wi-Fi? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about computers. You guys, you guys hooked it up uh, at my house, and, oh, the Wi-Fi's or whatever it's called, whatever it is. Is it, was it Wi-Fi, oh, is that the correct? Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. Yeah, well, when I click internet, uh, nothing happens, like, it just comes up and it says, you cannot, your web page cannot be found. I don't know what you guys did, but uh, oh, Michael's over here and he's getting all pissed off. I don't know what to do. Okay, and you guys, uh, you have the key for protection? Uh, yeah, yeah. I paid for I paid for all that stuff, and they told me that they were like, okay, "Well, um, if it goes wrong, we can send a geek over to your house, and he will help you out." Yeah, yeah. So oh, I oh, oh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so what we can actually do, uh, if you want, I can give you the phone number for the Geek Squad customer support. Oh. Uh, people that they'll be able to help you troubleshoot any issue you have. Um, well, who? Also be the people, uh, well, the Geek Squad customer support number. Well, who are you? I'm the Geek Squad. I'm inside the precinct, so, like, I'm you're, the you're one inside, that you're inside. You're, 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 I'm sorry, you're talking so fast. You're inside what? I'm inside the store. Oh well, why? Oh, why can't I just bring it in there and let you fix it up? You can, you can get all silly and just, you know, put the whatever. It needs more memory or something. Oh. Okay, so I mean, if you want to bring it to the store, you can. Well, what's well, your? You have the protection plan. I can also. Yeah. I can also help you over the phone. Let me read my receipt. You need my receipt number? What? Oh, what's your name, Billy? No, no, my name is Moises. Moses. Like oh, cool, cool. Like, 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 yeah. like, 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 like the Bible. Yeah, like the Bible. Yeah. Oh, that's like that's that's pretty. Wow, that's yeah. that's pretty cool. Like, my name's Peter. Peter. Um, I bought. I paid. What the hell, Michael? What did we pay for that protection? Oh, protection. Um, it was like a hundred and fifty dollars, and I've only had this computer for two days, and and it's not working. And I'll come in there. Um, oh. You ever? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if you want. To oh. Talk, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's bring it into the store, and then you can get all silly with it and unscrew the screws on the side, and just. T- oh. 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 Oh, he's just the way he. The way he. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it in tonight, and then I want to talk to you, and then I want you to just get all silly with it, you know. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, well, how do okay. I get? Oh, yeah. How do I uh, put? Again, okay? When I take the cover off of it, there's a couple slots that need filled. Oh, you know what I mean. Can you, can you just repeat that again, please? Okay, okay. Uh, when I, I when I take the cover off of it, Moses, 
there's a couple slots that need filled. Oh, and I told Michael, that's memory. That's memory. And he says, what are you forgetting? Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, oh. Yeah, so you want to bring him into the boat? Yeah, Moses, I want to come see you, big boy. Oh, oh. Are you right inside the doors? I right, make a left. Walk in the door and make. Oh. No, you make a right. Okay. All right. I'll come right to the side again. Oh. 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 Don't hang up. I, I got a question. Hello. Yeah. Um, if I bring it in though, are you gonna fix it real good? Oh. Oh. Right there, Michael. Oh! <laughs> Is he not allowed to hang up? Oh! Take the ring off your finger, though. Take the ring off your finger first. Oh! <laughs> a free, a free rectal exam. Oh! You need, you need one of them, Moises? Oh! Are you there? Hello? Hello? Oh! Yeah, because I can give, I can give you a, you know, we, you can come over to my house and fix it, and Michael will give you a free exam. Oh, we got the KY. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, fuck, he hung up. All right, that's it. Wow, man, I'm surprised he made it that long. That was good. <laughs> that was fucking good. That was solid. They probably, they, they, solid they Peter. They probably hung up at the ring part for sure. They, they probably have rules against hanging up on customers or some shit, dude. I don't even know what the fuck happened. <laughs> they probably, like, record all the calls, and so you got to wait till you're absolutely sure you're getting, like, fucking oh. fucked with. <laughs> uh, anyway I think it's your turn, bitch Uh, no, I'm taking tonight off of prank calls <clears throat> What the fuck? Why do I gotta do all the goddamn work around this motherfucker? I can't do everything uh, Nah, I I, uh, I, I just right, I'll I'm do just... another one, fuck you, I'll do another one, God damn it. Do it, what was the other one we were chat. talking about? That was... Type in the chat what character you want Oh, fuck it, no, type in the chat what character you want Nobody else wants to fucking do it, I'll goddamn do it Type <laughs> in the fucking chat what character you goddamn motherfuckers want <laughs> Oh, boy, them dislikes are up today, son. Oh, really? The loser crew's back? Yeah, look. Look for yourself. Uh, well, they're pissed It's almost at 150. <laughs> I don't, dude, I never I never cared about that. Don't care about it now. It gives no, I don't. Hell. I laugh about it. It's funny as shit. They're pissed off because their little plan Wednesday night gained absolutely zero views on any of their live streams. That's so. what I don't get. Like, you know, they coached, they coached a retard into coming in here, and it did nothing for them. And no, did you hear? Well, they all make that, new channels other, like every fucking other, day. Other than the idiot and Shrek, nobody else knew about it. So he basically talked shit and all those people for weeks. Oh, oh shit! You know, the, you know the fucked up part was that like, yo, the stalker was so pissed because he wasn't. I in saw it. that. <laughs> if they don't, if they don't want to include me. I guess they're not my real friends. If they. They could have included me in that, but I was busy sniffing panties anyway. So that was fuck it. so funny, dude. Yeah. He got who so the, mad. Who the hell goes on a live stream into a Victoria's Secret store and sniffs oh, panties Jesus. two times? Uh, like, that, wrong, dude. that fucking we guy, all, dude. That we all know. Boat, boat, we all know boat. I think it's it's time to do a call as him. I believe I'm gonna call Victoria motherfucking secrets. Okay, Steve Boat. You do you. Yeah, I'm ask them if it's okay to, to sniff panties in there. If, if yeah, ask if you can live stream sniffing panties. That actually will be pretty funny. He's, he's a politician, so it should be okay. Yeah, mention right. mention you're a politician. Or no, uh, say you tried I, I, to... But, dude, I've no, actually, no, no. You can do the voice. Don't bring up politics. Just be like, I'm a YouTuber. And then be like, right. I do live streams, and then, yeah, you, you, you can do this. You're a comedian. You know what to do. I got it. I got it. I'll yeah. just swing it. Fuck it. I'll just swing it to hell with it. You can do it, dude. I know you can. I'm at the National Fair Mall, a store hours on Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Please stay on the line for the next available associate. Thank you so much, and you have a great day. They're going to hang up when I do the voice, dude. <laughs> well, just don't overdo the voice. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to know if I could film a video. Uh, can I talk to the manager, please? Um, yes, who is this? My name is Steve Boat. Yes, who? Steven Boat. And what were you wanting to speak to your manager about? I wanted to know if I could make, I want to film a video. Like, 
I do a YouTube channel where I do live streams. I wanted to know if I could film it, like inside your store tonight, possibly. Give me one second and let me ask. Thank you. No, 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 la, 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 la. What? What's up? That's probably no copyright case, sir. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like, la, 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 la. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. We you should can, be okay. You can edit that out, can't you? No, this is live, dumb shit. <laughs> That's why we're... Uh, just mute your mic until they come back, dude. Oh, there's boat right there. Man, these people really need to get lives. Damn, dude. Is he still on fucking hold? T. Yeah. Say yeah. something, T. Entertain the masses. Yeah, what is with the trolls? Like, they're, they're giving us more views than they get on their own videos. Like, that, that's... I already I thanked them for it, so what's the problem? Let them keep doing it. Yeah, keep... <laughs> Go check out and dislike my videos Dude, a little bit more. Too I'm trying. Long. I'm trying to buy a twelve hundred dollars stereo for my fucking ATV. Keep, let them keep keep going, man. <laughs> I mean, I like money too. If if they want to keep doing it, that's that's K with me. Exactly. Like what? The, oh shit! Breaking news! Breaking news! Tyndall can bake the meanest onion on the planet. Breaking news! I legit fire roasted an onion the other day. Why? I can't no, film be like it's like it's a, it's it's totally what legal for me to film. Outside the store, is that all right? Um, I mean, we're not, we don't. It could I'm give you. Sorry, it could give you a lot of publicity. I have thirteen subscribers. <laughs> um, I mean, I, outside the store, I don't know if you can or not, but here in our show, you can. Okay, well, if I stand outside your store, would the mall have a problem with that? Because. I, have, I am not sure. I don't work under the mall. I just work under Victoria's Yeah, I, just, I, I, yeah, I get what you're saying, but I have 13 subscribers and I don't have a job. Ah, oh, what the <laughs> god damn! Dude, they can't stop you from filming in a Victoria's Secret. They're fucking retarded. Well, they they actually can, dude. Because really? it's private prop. It's private property. Yeah, yeah, private property. Damn. Man. Yeah, they can't. They can. They can be like, yo, turn the camera off. It's private property, dude. They can't. They can tell you. You know, that's why, I like, the fucking idiot. The retard, stupid fucking panty sniffer. He went in there, dude. They could, they he could have gotten in trouble for that. But what does he care? He's been arrested how many times now for fucking stalking? He don't think he gives a fuck. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't think he cares about fucking sniffing he, panties in a fucking. Apartment. He said, I, I heard he said he he got a job, but he won't tell anybody like even what he does. Like he's too lie. afraid to say shit. Well, I mean, maybe he got a job, dude. If you really well, want to get a job, you can get a job. I mean, I know Target wouldn't hire him, but somebody somewhere, you know, needs a who, hold who dug or something. Who would hire that guy, though, if he came in? I sure the fuck wouldn't hire him. No. Just the way he talks alone, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, if looking. you just keep him away from anyone you actually do business with, like, he could peel potatoes in the back of a restaurant. Yeah. Let him wash that, dishes. Yeah. Like, you know, not even... Not even washing. I wouldn't want his grease. Well, yeah, yeah. Here's he, the deal. Yeah. Here's the deal. Like, I would, I would never, I would never knock somebody for having a job. Period. Like, whether you make seven dollars an hour or seven thousand dollars an hour, like you know, at least you're trying. At least you have a fucking job. But people like him, people like crying lion Bobby, like people like that who just sit at home all day and do nothing. Like you're fucking scum. All right. If you have a job and you get hurt and you can't work, that's different. You know, if you're fucked up and you can't work, that's different. But, you know, you can sit in a fucking cart at Walmart and be like, hey, welcome to Walmart. Like, but that's too good for like, like, like boat. Like that's too, remember he worked there for one day and got fucking fired. Like, dude, how the fuck do you get goddamn fired from fucking Walmart? On your first day. <laughs> he was harassing the women, I'll guarantee it. I don't think that. I think that on his break, he was sniffing the fucking panties in the lingerie department, dude. And they were like, yo, what are you doing, boy? He's like, eh. <laughs> and I think they fucking fired him. Uh, or somebody probably bullied him, and then he got mad and probably, like, went off. It was like, you can't talk to me and say those things like that. Just See, because you guys do, of that. You guys do the voice way better than I do. And then you got, like... You know, then you got fucking crying lion Bobby, who has been swatted six times, all that bullshit. Like, this motherfucker got, like, kids and shit and can't even get a fucking job. Like, dude, what are you doing? 
And then you remember how like a year ago his wife left him and he was crying like a bitch about it. And it's like, well, dude, you're probably <laughs> sick of you being a piece of shit. Like, so then he goes and gets a job at Direct TV, and he's like, hey, Heggy, do you want free Direct TV all year? Okay. So he gives me these passwords, and then he would change them like every other day just so I had to talk to him. Like he would text me and be like, "Hey, is your uh, direct TV working?" And I'm like, "No, dude, it's not." Oh yeah, well I got to give you the new password. And then he would call me, and he would give me the password, and it would work. And then like the day or two later, he'd text me and be like, "Hey, Heggy, is your direct TV working?" And I'd be like, "No, dude, you know it's not." Oh, well give me a call. I'll give you the new password, dude. This went on for like two <laughs> months. But I'll tell you what, I was getting all the fucking NFL games for free, so it was kind of cool because I don't have direct TV, I have Comcast. But I was getting all the fucking NFL games for free. But every weekend, dude, I had to spend an hour and a half, two hours on the phone with this fucking loser just to get the new password. And then it got to the point where I was like, he texted me and goes, hey, Hagee, is your direct TV working? I wrote back, dude, don't worry about it. He's like, no, give me a call. I'll give you the new password. I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. I don't need it. Fuck it. And then he's like, well, no, I have to change the password every week. And I'm like, dude, I don't need it. Fuck it. I didn't want to talk to his stupid ass on the phone every fucking week. Then the next week, he's like, yeah, I got laid off. <laughs> like, yeah, sure he, did. he probably got fired for fucking giving out too many people free passwords to fucking getting that shit free. Like, that's... <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt it, dude. I mean, I was getting all the NFL games for free. It was kind of cool because I had, you know, I got three monitors set up, and I had three different games on three different monitors, you know. And then on my TV, I had the local games, which was... It was fucking cool, and I appreciated it, and, like... You know, we were friends at that time, and then he started lying about every fucking thing and making up shit, and I'm just like, I'm done with this fucking guy. Like, whatever, dude. That's not how you have friends. And that's why he's friends with who he's friends with now, because that's how he is. He's a fucking lying piece of shit. That's why he's friends with Scott. That's why he's friends with Shrek. That's why he's friends with fucking Stalker Steve, because he's he's on their level. He, That's the he's, kind of person That's the kind of person he is. You know he's I mean? right where he belongs. That, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So anyway, you know, and then he comes out after we do a live show. He talks about how we lied the whole time. But <laughs> the thing that these guys do is they call us liars, but they never, ever, ever, ever say what we're lying about. And to me, that's fucking funny. Like when Hubbard makes a video tomorrow, call me a child pedo or whatever. I'm going to say dude's lying. I ain't got no record for fucking molesting children. But these guys call us liars, but they never say what we're lying about ever. You know, it's like, and then I'll <laughs> ask him, like, what are we lying about? You're a liar. What am I lying about? You're just lying. About what? You're a liar. <laughs> you know what I mean, dude? No, and the <laughs> funniest thing is this whole thing with all these trolls, it's it's all because of of the inbred, and it's all yeah. because they're all band together, all to get, to get you, Haggy. That's what it's all about. It's, it's the all weirdest all shit ever, none dude. Them, ain't none of them got the heart to come at me, though. But it's but you it's know, all because you went after, as he says, you attacked Larry's lounge, which you didn't. But the funny <sighs> thing is, Hubbard fucking attacked him to the point Larry called the yeah. cops, and he's not allowed to. Yeah, call I know. Him. <laughs> you leave you that know, part you, out all the time. You, you bring up a great fucking point. <laughs> Here's the deal: I've never, I've never called anybody's job. I've never called anybody's fucking dude. I've never done none of us have. Shit. No one that's none a part of, of this show. But that's the shit they do. Hubbard was harassing and stalking this guy's work. And you remember he was lying yeah. when the cops called him? The <laughs> cops called him. While, while that fucking retard was live, the cops called him. And he was like, oh, Larry Lugie's calling me back. And he's like, hello? And they were like, yeah, this is New Jersey State Police. Uh, you know, he's like, oh, shit, fuck <laughs> this hell, cock. And he hung up. Like, shit, dude. Yeah, well, he was like, he was like, I'll just keep calling over and over again because then they'll have to talk to me, but he doesn't realize that they have their phone system set up that way so they can just call the cops when somebody does that. Like, yeah, it, like I, I might, it's I might simple. Talk shit. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna sit here, stand up, lay down, and talk shit about you, but I'm not going to call your auntie or your uncle. I'm not going to call your fucking sister. I'm, I, I just, I'm not going to harass somebody. I'm going to tell you. You're if you're a 16-year-old stalker, I will call your mommy. Uh, yeah, I like, oh well, yeah, and I, we're gonna do that here in a minute. But I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna call like, dude, I'm not gonna harass your fucking grandma. Like, what kind of dumb fucking shit is that? Like, why would I want to fucking harass your grandmother? Like, what kind of stupid? Well, shit is that? Uh, it's That's K for his fucking, friends to do it, not not K for. Do, though, like, they'll search you on Facebook and find like your third cousin's, you know, whatever, and they'll be like, hey, who's uh Bob Jones? Oh fuck, that's my uncle. 
and then they'll they'll harass him like and that's the kind of shit that like Hubbard stands for rotten tooth Dakotas Shrek that's the shit that they do Bobby Bobby's in he's into that now too like they said they were gonna rape his fucking daughter yeah. like, dude, come at Jesus, me and tell me you're gonna dude. rape my fucking daughter like I'm not gonna be scared of you to the point where I kiss your ass but like, kudos to the monkey boy and to the fucking Shrek kudos man I'm glad that you can build up, you know, six fucking retards to fucking worship you because you said you're going to rape their fucking sister or whatever, dude. Great, great dude, congrats, man. it's getting to the point, though, that it's like documentary worthy, like that, you know, you're, you know, you're not like a giant YouTuber, but there's literally like this weird cult of people who are all friends solely because they hate you. Like, know, that's dude, fucking like I, like fascinating, said, dude. Like I said last week, dude. Why can't we get a reason? Like, I don't, you want to hate me, that's fine. Let me get a fucking reason why, though. <sighs> dude. You know what I mean? Like, I know why Scott hates me. You know the fucked up shit is, dude? Why did I get rid of Scott? Because Bobby, the fucking lying piece of shit, said Scott scammed him out of $800. So we did some research and found out that Scott was scamming people, but he never scammed Bobby. Bobby just wanted to be involved, so he made up this ridiculous lie. Then I found out that Bobby's a fucking piece of shit liar. So I got rid of him, apologized to Scott, but then I confronted him like, dude, that doesn't make it okay. Like Bobby lied about you and I apologize for believing him, but dude, you're still scamming people. What's well, not really a scam, Hagee, but it was, you know what I mean? So it's like motherfuckers want to be pieces of shit. I don't want nothing to do with them and I'm the bad guy. And that's and cool. you want to you know, know, know a proof that it was a scam? Scott got fired from that job. Just oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit, a little bit of recognition online. So obviously it's a scam. Well, they wanted nothing to do with Scott because they was drawing attention to that. Well, he's a fucking idiot because none of us knew about it till he DM me from that account, and I was like, "Yo, hey, yeah, you dude. check this shit out, dude." And I remember and when that shit went down. Like I remember. Yeah. When down, you texted me and you were like, "Yo, Scott just DM me." From a Twitter account with seven hundred thousand followers, and what was it like? Penis pills, penis pills. <laughs> no, that was no, shit? that was the one that was the crowdfunding, yeah, taking yeah, yeah, people's yeah. money when they're you know literally dying and shit. Yeah, and like he would, he would, he was like, well, hey, this guy's house burned down. How about sending him some money? So he would charge this guy to tweet this out, but he couldn't. He was like Jeff Tutorials. He couldn't get one like or retweet ever. And that's that. That was the scam. So exactly, you're paying you're you're paying this guy because he has a million he has a million fucking followers on Twitter, but he's following nine hundred ninety nine thousand. Anyway, you're paying this guy to tweet out your misfortune, you know, but nobody sees it because it's all fucking bots. And that was the problem that we fucking had with this fucking guy, you know. And but it makes me because that's I'm just like guy. there. You know what? I would rather you not have a job than do that. If you're scamming people, like. Dude, just live off welfare and find a real job. Like, don't fucking prey on people, especially people in their weakest state. Like, that's just... These people, they they, they are perfect friends for each other. They are, they are like, the shittiest you know people, saying, like, between, on the planet. In between, in between the five of them, dude, like, they're all fucking... I'll tell you what. That's why none of them have jobs, dude, because they're too stupid. You know, and I don't want to talk shit about Jeff because he's only 16. He, he, you know, well, when I was 16, I had a fucking job, but, you know, he likes to sit in his fucking bedroom and pull his goalie all day and, you know, whatever. But I don't know. Uh, we'll get back into this. I got to make a drink. I'll be right back. I don't know what you guys want to do, but we'll uh, I'm, start this I'm conversation about here. Boogie. I'll tell you what's fucking tripping me out is just watching Green work. <laughs> <laughs> he's on, he's on like double duty tonight. Yeah, he's been busy tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> it's just funny, dude, because Poor Graham. somebody com somebody commented in there like, God damn, you're quick. <laughs> well that's why he gets that's what he gets paid to do though. I mean <laughs> God damn, but anyway, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so T, you wanna talk about Boogie? So yeah, so he's just started the diet right now, right? He's going for that uh, gastric bypass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well he's been I mean he goes for surgery on the twenty fifth. I believe, and um, he, I think he's been on the diet since he got back from, uh, was it VidCon? Yeah, 
from VidCon, I think. Oh, well, I think he started the diet a few days ago because he made a video with his Francis character of his last Mountain Dew or something like that. Or I'm not even sure if it was Francis, but it was like his last Mountain Dew. Yeah, I saw that. Day. Yeah, he started like, I think a few days after that or some shit. Or he said and he, he was said, starting I, know, I saw a tweet the other day because I follow him and he said he's already lost, I think, about 30 pounds of water weight or something. No like shit. That. That's crazy. Uh, I'm interested to see how it works out for him. I, I know, a guy, well, I knew a guy years ago that he had that surgery done. And he was like, yeah, he was big. He was about 400 pounds, and he was a big, tall guy. He had that surgery, and, like, he's still, to this day, it's been about probably five, ten years, and he's still, like, he's he's skinny. Like, it worked for him. He said, like, you can't eat lots at once, so that's a downside. Like, if you go get yourself a, a, a junior chicken from McDonald's, you're eating about two bites of that, and you're, you're stuffed. Full. Yeah. Like, well, and you have to be really careful with your diet because, I mean, it's, you know, when you get to the point that you have to have surgery like that, you're at a point where you, you know, you've fucked your body up so much like you just yeah, have that, to Yeah, that was diet. actually a bad example because he ain't going to be going to McDonald's, I guess, after having that surgery. But that was just kind of a, a size reference I was given. Um... The the other thing with it is too. I don't. I'm sure probably most of the people here probably watch Boogie. You're cutting out, or is that me? Can you hear me? Yeah, but it's cutting out really. Hold bad. on. Any better? Any better? Yeah, that's better. That's okay. Better. All right. Um. So I assume that probably most of our fans uh watch Boogie. Um. Hold on. And if you're not, you guys should. He's uh, Boogie's a cool guy. His character's good, and in real life, he seems like a really just cool, down to earth guy. Um, yeah. And so, it, have you watched like his past videos? He used to talk about his past a lot more. He doesn't do it I've, anymore. I've but... missed quite a bit here the last uh, the past couple weeks. I've been keeping. Well, no, I'm saying like when he yeah. talks about his life growing up. He grew up actually pretty close to where I live now. Like in Southwest Virginia, but way Southwest. Oh really? Yeah, I've yeah I've heard some of the st yeah his childhood and stuff like it. He had a pretty rough. I was actually quite shocked. I just heard that about a month ago, a month and a half ago, was when I first heard about that stuff. Um, yeah, and so the uh, sorry for the background noise, guys. Um, Miranda's cooking some food. I'm streaming from the kitchen because it's so fucking hot right now and. It's just really cool in the kitchen, and I'm on a laptop, so fuck it. But anyway, um, I forgot where I was going with this. Oh, yeah, so he's had such, like, a fucked up past, and he's tried, like, because I've been watching him for a few years. Um, I'm not sure how many years now, but, you know, he is, he was always trying to do this or do that to, to try to find something that would work, and... I think when you get to that point where, like, you have such a fucked up past and you're, you know, he's a, a self-proclaimed food addict, which means, like, food is, like, drugs to him, um, you know, you get to a point where it's, like, you know, at his age, it's, like, I completely support him doing this because it's, like, you know, if nothing else works and you just can't do it, you know, don't die over it. Go get the surgery and do your best. Like, it seems like, I think the surgery's kind of pumped him up because he seems like he's he's doing well, and I know that's been his problem in the past is just being able to stick to a diet, but, you know, um, there's hope. Exactly, and I think, I'm, I hope the best for him because I think this is going to really help him out a lot. And, yeah, like you said, like, he's he seems excited and, like, upbeat. Like, he knows things are going to be better for him now, and I, I really hope it is. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think he's going to come out good um, I I just I it's hope it all goes it's well gonna be for weird him. though seeing seeing a skinny boogie though like I'm not gonna recognize it him. is <laughs> gonna be weird and but what I really look forward to is how he's gonna deal with Francis like how is he gonna write those sketches and that storyline you know of oh, that character yeah, that's gonna be good yeah because I love that Francis character that that is yeah I mean that's how basically probably everyone has found boogie I would say like 98 percent of his subs come from Francis. You know, and, and that's yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. His other content's still good. I watch almost all of his videos. Um, I don't really watch him play games that much. I have, uh, Miranda and I have watched him Twitch stream a few times. Um, and, you know, he, he's he's actually pretty good at, at uh, you know, entertaining on Twitch. Um, it's just we don't really watch much Twitch and game streams and shit. Um, yeah, same. I, I gotta say, I don't get the appeal to that, watching other people play video games. But you can just go play the I game mean, yourself. I mean, it's like, the whole point of it is, 
to be entertaining while you do it. So if you like look at somebody like PewDiePie, like they would make videos and then edit them and make it funny. So it's like comedy. So it's like you're watching gameplay, but it's like comedy. Or if they live stream, they're trying to be funny while they do it. It's like when, you know, Hagee plays some shit. Or like when we played Overwatch together, like, you know, you talk more and you try to make it funny, you know? Yeah, I guess that's true. Because, yeah, like, the only person I've watched play video games online really is Haggy, And I don't watch it for the games. I watch it for the... Yeah, it's like, see, office. it's like, it's something that somebody can do that does entertainment that you know, gives extra content to the viewers and allows them to do something different. Um, it gives you a different medium to put out your art, which is comedy in this case. But still, like, it's unreal to me, like, because, like, I've got a couple of kids around 10 years old. And they'll come show me, oh, look at this on YouTube, and they're watching people play video games. Like, the game system's sitting right there, but they're watching. Like, I just, I know it, it. I know it's common now, but it still, it just blows my mind. Like, I would rather go play the video game. Well, yeah. So. Did you did you see the episode of South Park about PewDiePie and shit? I, I actually, I just watched that last <laughs> night on one of those, those live stream channels. There, that that was the first time I seen it. it just made me laugh watching that because that one kid was at Stan. Like he was saying basically the exact same thing. I think like, why watch yeah. someone play it? You can play it yourself. <laughs> Yeah, like, and he even, like, goes out and buys the game, and then his little brother's like, you're dumb. <laughs> like, nobody wants to play that shit. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, like, that, that's how I feel. It's like, what the hell? Like, it's... But, like, it's, it's like you said, it's for the it's for the person that's commenting, or if they're entertaining to watch, you're gonna want to Yeah, watch. and, you know, like, and I can see, you know, with the live streams, I can see where it's entertaining, and then I can see where, you know, if, like, PewDiePie or Markiplier or somebody like that, they make a video, and they edit, and they make it funny, and they're, they're aiming for a younger demographic, so their jokes are, you know, a bit younger. Like, I feel like, I, like, I'll still watch PewDiePie from time to time and see what's going on. Like, his content, in my opinion, goes, like, up and down a lot, like... Sometimes it's just, well, for honestly, for long periods of time, it's just trash. But then every once in a while, he'll drop some good videos. I've it's only seen really three or four of his videos, and like, and I, I don't want to talk trash on him, but it's like the most boring thing. Like, I would literally rather watch Hubba videos. Well, well, his, he, he, a lot of his shit is boring, but when he is at his best is when he's in the mood of, I'm, I have more subs than anyone else. I'm rich as fuck, I don't give a fuck anymore, I don't give a shit, like, I'm just gonna do whatever, and that's when he's funny, like, that's when he's funny, but most of the time he's just, like, tryharding, and it's just shit, you know, and that's, that's the problem with it. Them little kids are easy to please, I guess, that's why he gets all the views. Yeah, and I mean, I guess, I, I don't know at that point, like, I guess you just keep doing it just because... You need something to do because he's got so much fucking money. I mean, he can just he can just put out a video and I mean, dude, he's gonna get a million views regardless. Like he could just sit there in front of the camera, dude. He could literally just sit there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he could. Yeah, and, and I can't blame him. It's like having a money too. printing machine, dude. Exactly. It, it li- yeah, literally. The same thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him, dude. I'm not hating on him, you know. Oh man. That's just some crazy shit, man. See, I could have clickbaited a fucking PewDiePie's name now. I'm gonna take this Hagee last show ever shit out. <laughs> that was yeah, a good joke. That was a good joke. Oh, anyway. I don't know. I have to go to the liquor store and get more whiskey or what? I have no idea, dude. Like, I don't think he was that drunk where he passed out on us. It's a little early for even him. I'm coming back, goddamn. God damn, dude. Like, come on, get it together, man. It's like you wonder if he ever actually leaves the room because he's if he leaves and he's gone and we talk about him and he's like right there, fuck you guys, I'll be right back. He Fucking doesn't. doing something, bitch. He it, I'm exposing him right now. He literally does live at home. That's why he never leaves his room. He's got a mini fridge in his room with the liquors and all that shit. But the, the important question though is is he in the basement or is he in the attic? That part I don't know, dude. I'm assuming probably the basement because probably his mom's embarrassed. Blame her. Yeah, I mean. Mom, I... don't ask me about the meatloaf when I'm on live on the air. <laughs> Dude, Listen, you're unmuted. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do a live. You're show not muted. And you're asking me about meatloaf, mom. The hot pockets are fine. I got my mic on mute so they can't hear this, but you can't be asking me live on the air about what I want for dinner, mom. Damn. I gave you $5 rent money last month. I only sniffed panties twice. 
You're always mad at me for sniffing panties. It's what I do. Mom, listen. Me- Oh, shit. My fucking mic. You stupid fuck. Fuck, no. I, I kind of want Hot Pockets now. I haven't had those things in years. <laughs> do they even still make Hot Pockets? Of course they make Hot Pockets, dude. If America's still a country, they will still make Hot Pockets. I, I That's just a fact. More, I, I was always more of a pizza pop guy over the hot pockets. So. I'm, I've never been a, a big fan of any of that shit, dude. Like, I just grew up eating well, you know, like home cooked meals and fresh food and shit like that. And I just, I don't see, like processed shit. See, that's how I grew up. But, uh, so the processed shit was rare to me. So then as I got older, it's like, fuck, I never got enough of this shit. And yeah, it's kind of dumb, but I, I, I love that crap now. That's crazy, dude. Like, I can't even really eat it most of the time. It just, like, a lot of times, like, it'll just, like, disgust me, and I just can't do it. Like, I'm not going to say it's, like, with everything, but there's certain things. And I always, like, if I have the option to eat, like, fresh, awesome food, then... Mom, the fucking meatloaf! God damn! Dude, Jeff! Fuck, Jesus. I want meatloaf, God damn. Yeah, it's like there's... Literally, we have these dollar stores up here. And they, they, I buy these every once in a while when I go there. They have these brownies. It's like a box of brownies from a dollar store that sit on a shelf for who knows how long. Like, <laughs> is that shit even food? But fuck, I, I eat them. It's like, it doesn't even taste like a chocolate brownie. But I don't know. I just, I, it's like, I never got enough of this as a kid. So I want to eat a little bit of it now. I mean, I can understand that. I just, uh, when I was growing up, I, I was basically allowed to eat whatever I wanted. But... You know, even as a kid, I never had, like, children's taste buds, you know, where, like, you just want to eat, like, chicken nuggets and pizza hey and guys, shit. Hey, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for dinner. Yeah, and you were a total dumbass about it, dude. I can't. Uh, you, Dude, you, you, kept, you, you kept, like, unmuting your mic. No, I'm, my, mic, my mic was muted the whole time. What are you talking Jesus. about? Jesus, we're, we're going to have to. We'll delete. Talk. We'll delete this stream after. Fuck it. What, what are you talking about? What's nothing. Talking about? We'll talk about it after the stream, dude. Anyway, well. Living on my own, like I do, I you know I had to decide what I was doing for what. What the hell's the problem? Do what? What what's going on? I was trying. I was getting ready my my articles for for dinner. You guys are mad at me. We, we we could we could hear your mom, man. Like yeah, what are dude. you talking about? Dude, we, shit, we heard you. you, didn't, you Bullshit. Didn't shit. Dude, I don't, my shit was muted. I don't live with my fucking mom. My shit was. She muted. was asking if you wanted hot pockets or fucking meatloaf. We we heard it all. Dude, yeah, are, you guys dude. Being, are you guys being serious? We're being 100% dead serious, dude. I'm going to have to delete this. Well, you're already exposed now. Somebody's done copied it. So. We're going to have to delete this whole channel now. Uh, yeah. Are you guys <laughs> Are you guys fucking with me, dude? No, like, we're, we're dead serious. Oh, shit. I thought my shit was muted. Fuck. Um, Vapebrite.org is our sponsor for this show tonight. Check them out. Moving right along. Um, uh... Uh, now I feel like a fucking idiot. Did you guys really hear that? Yeah. Awkward. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to move on from the meatloaf. I should. I... Hey, can I do a prank call? You should definitely do that. <laughs> as who? As who? <laughs> as as. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm fucking sorry. I thought it'd be funny because I was doing something, and I'm like, just... <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Let me just unmute my mic and act like a fucking retard. No, I I apparently play it really well too because Miranda comes up to me and was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> and I... well, you know, dude. Now, now I'm gonna get exposed again. <laughs> Daggy lives with his parents. Here's the proof, case yeah. sir, and everything and stuff. I'm fucked up, man. Goddamn. I mean, it's just, I just think it's all funny to me now because literally everything that anyone ever exposes about us is a lie. Should I, should I call Larry Lugie a hundred times? <laughs> no, they're closed. I don't even know his fucking goddamn fucking number. Uh, Yo, did y'all hear Hubbard earlier saying that I was calling his job and shit, dude, and calling the police? Yeah. Dude, I've never done any of that fucking bullshit. Oh, no. Oh, you need to call the mental hospital, remember? <sighs> <laughs> You thought that was so funny, Haggy. You thought it was so funny to call mental hospital up on me, Haggy. You thought it was so goddamn funny to call the goddamn mental hospital up on me, Haggy. Yeah, but what did I talk to you about earlier? I'm like, did I ever do that? And you were like, yeah. Yeah, you did that a long Dude, time ago. I when? Like, I called a mental before, hospital? Before, I think, I think before we started the show. 
like yeah, even like triggered like, like I think it was right before like we actually started a show to like together. I think I should call Jeff's mommy. Actually, do that. That's better. Oh yeah. I think I'm it's time, to... dude. Can you please tell her to tell him to stop harassing me and stalking me, me on Twitter? Up, let me get up. Let me get up in the. Let me. I gotta. I gotta talk to the guy who doxed him and get his fucking mommy's number. It can be guaranteed, Jeff. Right now, it's like running through his. House. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> smash him. <laughs> Uh, can you guys handle the show for two minutes so I can go do something real quick and then I'm gonna call Jeff's mommy. Yep, you got it, dude. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got all kinds of fuck. Oh, by the way, um, if y'all don't know, follow me on my fucking new Twitter. Uh, Temporary uh, Twitter, dude. Don't uh, you're gonna get exposed well, dude, it said, again? It said, it's it said a few days, so I don't know. It's, it's only been like days. a day. It's been like what, what a uh, day or two days? Hubbard Hubbard with his connection shut my Twitter down, so. Well, that happened you Wednesday, know, see, and today's I, you know, Friday. I even, like, I don't really give a fuck. I'll just use my other Twitter, dude. But I don't give a fuck. Like, Hubbard all... can't even fucking spell Twitter, and he's trying to take credit for taking well, if you, Twitter you down. Know, if y'all, like... if y'all want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on my new shit. It's called Jeff Heggy Three SL at Jeff Heggy Three SL. I'll actually -E fix that in the description right now. Yeah, it's like you know, follow me on this. I, like, I don't give a fuck about Twitter because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like. I had 13,000 followers on Twitter, but Jeff Tutorials botted my account. So only like, what, 3,000 of them were legit? And when he did that, I'm like, dude, no, don't fucking bot my account, dude. I don't want, you know, all these fake followers. And he's like, well, dude, you can get all these fucking I'm like, dude, but they're fake, though. And he's like, yeah, but it makes you look popular. I don't. But I you're don't not. <laughs> but he did it anyway. He did it anyway. And I got, all, I got fucking 15,000 bullshit fake followers. Which make it makes you look stupid, dude. It makes you look fucking dumb when you have thirty thousand followers and can't get one like. You know what I mean? That's why I told him not to yeah. do it. He did it anyway. But so anyway, follow my new Twitter. It's Jeff Heggy three S L J E F F H E G Y three S L. Follow that motherfucker on Twitter. And uh, when, as soon as I come back, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call uh, his mommy, and I'll get you. I'll be back in two seconds. All right. So uh, T, we need to have another topic for you and i to discuss i enjoy actually i enjoy um we need a name for our segment dude it's like the yeah. two t's or something like t and t t and t t and t dude shit, yeah that's T gonna say dehydrated dude i'm i'm bad. wicked sick with the names man i'm wicked sick with the names it took me forever to come up with fucking three sheets live but oh well well that was a good one. shit breaking news breaking news M and M's, they're for eating, they're not for collecting. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. Break news. Oh, I, I just got some M and M's here, and I had to have one in a beat. Well, let me see what's going on in the world. Um, and if you guys have any topics that you would like us to dis discuss on this little segment called TNT, then um, you should uh, put those in the uh, YouTube chat. Because I'm not watching Discord chat right now, because uh, I'm just running off laptop. Yeah, same here. I, I basically, I hardly ever watch the Discord chat. I'm only running No, usually I do. Now, so. you, usually I'm on multiple monitors trying to watch everything, but um, I can only do so much. I'm down and, to one monitor right now, so it's a... Yeah, well, so goddamn, T, you need to be sweeping some more streets. It's... Well, see, that's, see, that's the problem, too, is we're only busy in, in spring <laughs> because we don't really do much sweeping much sweeping throughout the year just after winter's over because we dump so much salt and sand on the roads we got to clean that shit up after winter and once spring is done basically it's 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 slow like i think that's probably why they make me use the broom all the time because they can't pay me for the freaking for the truck <laughs> all right so um kirby 200 makes a good point do a q a um but all right we'll, we'll kind of do a q a but because there's some questions in here already um Tyndall talk about jake paul t do you know who jake paul is isn't that one of those two those two brother guys it's every day bro i think yeah i think i've seen a few of their things i looked them up there last week yeah they they like do like lame pranks and like really crappy songs yes yeah yeah i know who they are yeah it's every day bro like um england and like the lyrics of the like it's got like england is my city and selling merch like god church and all this crazy stupid shit um, yeah they're 
They're another one that I just like. Some people I don't understand how they get so famous and so big on you. Well, it, well, no, with them it was from um because Vine shut down. You know the website Vine. And all these Viners came to YouTube to keep making their shitty-ass content to make money. But those two dudes are from the Disney Channel, dude. You can go look them up, and there's, like, them singing, like, stupid-ass dumb shit on the Disney Channel. Like, not even, oh. I don't know, like, a year or two ago. So it's cringy. Dude, what, the, like, the first line of the song is, like, I'm sick with that Disney Channel flow or some shit like that. But he tries to be all gangster and shit. Like, it's so cringy. It's, it, I, yeah, They're making I, I mad money, and props to them for that, but they are the laughing stock of the entire platform that is, like, well, digital they're entertainment. Like, they're, like the, they're like the Justin Bieber of YouTube, for crying out loud. Oh, no, dude. There were, no, Justin Bieber is actually one of us. He actually started on YouTube and then became famous. So, and he's from your country, oh, yeah, man. That's yes. your product. Don't, don't, the fuck, your country made him famous. Don't fuck Well, him dude, I'm not gonna, <laughs> like, I ain't gonna hate on him that much, man. Like, there's people, there's a lot more people worse than him. And I'll tell you, one of them is Jake Paul. Like, dude, Jake Paul makes Justin Bieber look like fucking Snoop Dogg. Like, that's how bad this guy is, dude. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, he's like a wannabe. Justin he got... Bieber. Look, dude, he's got... I guarantee you, they got rich mommy and daddy that bought their way into Disney. They got popular on it. They made a bunch of money for mommy and daddy. Then they do all this shit, and that's why they act like spoiled little cunts. Like... And, like... And their shit's just not that fucking good. That's no, like it's not good. No, no, no. It's not even that it's uh, not that good. Like, dude, they do just cringy vlogs. Like, like that's you know, it. If, if they had 100,000 subs, I could understand that. That's about it. Yeah, they've got, like, I think they're close. They're probably closing in on 10 million at this point. Jeez, holy shit. That's I haven't crazy. watched any of their videos. Literally, everything I've seen of them. I, no, I did watch the music video that the dude made, the Everyday Bro things. I was like, I got to see this shit. But um, everything I've seen from them is from watching other YouTubers make fun of them. And then they went through. Did you see where they went through and started copyright striking everybody? Like, all oh, these big really? people, dude. Yeah, because, they, dude, they're also with, like, the slimiest network on YouTube. Um, oh, yeah, if you want to find out more about Jake Paul, go watch the videos H3H3's made. Um, he's got some pretty good informative videos on them. Oh, yeah, I heard something. Yeah, now that you mentioned the copyright strikes. Yeah, I did see that. I didn't actually watch the videos, but I just kind of seen it. Yeah, they were, dude, they striked everyone who made a video about them, which was pretty much everyone. Like, everyone made fun of them, dude. Like... They just, I mean, they're, you know, they're just clickbaiting content and shit, but it's just, it's so bad, man. They're just like shitty daily vloggers, dude, but they're already so rich. And then now they're like just making more money and then here, see, here, here's what I got to compare. I would rather watch fucking McJuggernuggets than their shit. Oh, I would watch, how bad it is. I would watch Jesse any day over Jake Paul. That's, that's how bad he is, dude. And see if he wasn't so like over memed and over made fun of already not that i think he needs to be backed up off of like because he's had enough i'm not saying that but it's just like he's so burnt out already like that like like he jumped up on the meme economy and then just like he's just tanked he's just so overdone dude he's as bad as a fidget spinner at this point yeah yeah five years from now nobody will even know who he, who he is yeah he'll probably do something stupid by then too i'm sure but he also had, like, he was on drama alert because um, him, uh, he, like, he was, all right, so when Vine closed down, he had this, he owns this Team 10 thing or whatever, and it's, like, 10 of the top Viners, and they all live in a house together, apparently, some fucking mansion in, like, L.A., and he owns it, Jake Paul does, and so he was dating one of the girls that are signed to Team 10, and he was like fucking all these other chicks and shit, dude. And she like just got to a point where she got sick of it and like just wanted to break up with him. And then he fired her. <laughs> and dude, he was like straight up. Like he apparently like flew in some chick and like fucked her. And like that chick just had to be cool with it until she was like, I'm not cool with it anymore. Like he's a total piece of shit, dude. The guy is yeah, like a I total piece like of shit. Like not only is he just like shit at, life in general as far as being entertaining or creative or anything like that but on top of that he's also just a garbage human being like he thinks that you know he's better than everyone else because he's got money and you know thinking well about yourself because you have money is one thing 
but like being a total piece of shit to other people, especially somebody you're, you know, quote unquote, in a relationship with, like that's disgusting, man. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, that says a lot about it. And you have them in a contract. Like, dude, it's not like you like, you're acting like you have a contract with like a prostitute, dude. And that's how you're treating someone that like you're dating. It just makes you look like a fucking complete piece of shit, dude. I'm just waiting for his complete downfall. Like, I don't, and he calls his fans Jake Paulers. What is that, dude? Like, at least his brother Logan Paul calls him the Low Gang. There's a little creativity there. Like, he thought about yeah. it for like more than 30 seconds. <laughs> I got his mom's number on my call right now. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <clears throat> okay, Jeff, go around and grab your mom's phone. Run, Jeff, run. Can no, you even find like, mommy? Well, go ahead and call my mom. Nobody cares. So we'll see what she says. <laughs> no. If, if she even fucking answers. But hang on. I got to find shit I have here. One second. I guarantee you he's... Continue, he's... continue what you're... Okay, here we go. I got it. <laughs> uh, just hang on two fucking seconds. <clears throat> see what she says. <clears throat> Why the fuck can I scroll the fuck up? Keep, keep talking, guys. I'm trying to do something. I fucking broke his fucking computer. Too much Pornhub or some shit. Come on, Hydro. Exposed. Dude, relax. I'm trying to use my old fucking <laughs> fucked up and they ain't let me do a shit. You know, isn't it kind of weird? His name's Hydro, but he's scared to go in the water. What's up with that? <laughs> is that, no, is it, that it, Jeff it, in the thing? He's like, I got to talk uh, to my dad real quick and tell him you guys are calling. I got to tell my dad I got warned. Wait, who warning. said that? Well, I thought they didn't care. Oh, that is him! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, talk to my dad real quick. Go ahead and talk to your Russian immigrant fuckface of a father. Tell him. Oh, my God. Didn't the... Dude, I thought the cops told Jeff to knock it the fuck off. Dude, he disappeared for a while, man. He disappeared for a while. And then he, yeah, th he, he thinks it's K now? He realized he's nothing without freaking Haggy, so he had to come back. Even a shout out from the president didn't do shit. Yeah, that's the what? best part. <laughs> <fucking happen. laughs> like, like, Jeff, like, dude, did you, did you at least get a sushi sponsorship from some guy? <laughs> Donald you know, fucking you know, like, Trump retweets you, shouts out your channel. You gain no subs. You gain no followers. I know it did. It did nothing. It did nothing. Jesus, dude, know. that's embarrassing as shit, man. And if he would have just been cool and just left us alone, he's had. 50 chances now to leave us alone. And he has to come back and start shit again. Then we have to respond. I know. It's like, why don't you just go away, dude? Why don't you go away? Yeah, it's like, dude, like, when we first parted ways, we did it so nicely. It's logged. It's on a stream. You can go listen to it again. The proof is there. Hang on. Let me get his number real quick. I'm going to call his daddy. I'm going to call his papa. What, mommy's number didn't work? No. But I got his papa's number, too. Does he even speak English? Who the fuck knows? Let me talk to my people real quick. Okay, well, while we're waiting on you to just do that. Just continue to show, because I, I fucked something up here. Just continue to show. You just, you're just fucking everything up tonight, man. Whatever, bitch. I'm still the fucking man. You ain't. <laughs> I'll show you how to be the man. Show you how to buy the house. How to buy the car. Um, oh, I gotta talk about net neutrality. Um, T, are you still there or did you disappear? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah. Oh, okay, no. T, do you know what net neutrality is? A little bit. Like, I just read a little bit about it yesterday. I'm not, I'm not no expert on the subject, but yeah, I, I do know a little bit, like, the basics of it. All right, well, I mean, you're in Canada, so you get a little bit more of a pass than Hydro, who doesn't know what the fuck net neutrality is because he loads bags all day. But anyway, I'll give you guys a quick rundown. So basically, to summarize it all without getting into a bunch of uh, boring jargon, um, ISPs, whoever you get your internet from, you know, maybe Verizon, Comcast, something like that, if we get rid of net neutrality, they can throttle websites, which means, um, let's say that YouTube and Netflix were competing. Well, Netflix could pay money to that ISP to give them what is uh, kind of called a fast lane, and then YouTube gets a normal lane. 
So that's going to drive traffic to the website that has a better lane because it's not going to have slower speeds like the other one, which could potentially cause problems and give people, um, you know, not as good of an experience. So by doing this, it would, if you repeal net neutrality, you pretty much take what really is in its foundation and should be a utility um, because the internet, in my opinion, is basically like a library. It's information. It should be available to everybody. Um, obviously, you know, you have to pay a company to deliver it to your house and that's an understandable fee, but the internet itself, um, should be open and free or else it's not the internet anymore. Um, and people don't realize how big of a deal it is. And, you know, to, to our fan base, which, you know, as far as the U S goes, you know, the U S population is huge, but if I can make a difference for anybody, I will say this. Please educate people on what net neutrality is. If you know people in your life, your family, no matter who it is, educate them on this shit because the end of net neutrality would be the the beginning of the downfall of the internet. It, it will be exactly. gone. It, it will be gone. It can destroy all of this. It, it, it will. It will. It's not. It can. It will. It 100% will. And these cable companies, are, you know, right, these. Yo, hang on. Hang on real quick. I'm bringing up. Hey. hey. What's up? Hey, can you give me uh, Jeff's mommy's number real quick? But listen, don't say it loud. Can you hit me on the Twitter with it real quick? Because I'm trying to check my message on my band account. It won't let me scroll up. Are we live? Yes. yes. Can you, oh, okay. can you go to your... Welcome, you Heath. Your... We, I, uh, the number got disconnected. <laughs> they changed it. Uh, we, yeah, I told you. We called like two weeks ago, though. Do I... they have a, a landline? Uh, yeah, but they don't answer it. What's, I, can you can you do you have that number? number? I'll, I'll spam call yeah. the fuck out of it. Yeah, I have it. Just well, follow I, me. I just I joined the Discord and he was talking. I heard him talk for like two seconds and he dipped since I joined. Like, He's been day. begging me in DMs to fucking come he, on the show, dude. He thinks it's a fucking bluff. I'll call his daddy right now if I can get the number. I'll call his fucking daddy. Like every email that he has sent me as Melanie, I forwarded to his mommy and his daddy. Oh. Now I have. I haven't heard nothing back from either one of them, but I sent everything he's ever sent me. I forwarded to his mommy and his daddy. Oh yeah, yeah same here. Um, and I just uh, contacted recently the police about some shit. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm just dude. I'm just tired of him. Like he's a fucking he's a minor and he's threatening people with a fake lawyer. Like oh, we're gonna we're gonna end this right now. But you know, I, I tried to call that other number and it didn't work. Yeah. Let me. Call you dialed has been disconnected. Me... So yeah, I have all that shit saved. Hold on. Yeah, hit me on the Twitters. I just, I just, I just followed you on my new account because my other shit got suspended because he has, connect, he oh, has, yeah, connect, yeah, same here. he has <laughs> connected. He has connected. He he texted he texted Rodrigo Gonzalez and told him to block me and Rodrigo Gonzalez blocked me real quick. So, uh, yeah, I got that. That one to me too. Yeah, let me get that yeah. shit. Um, why why didn't y'all guys drag him up here? It was just people down there talking to him. Why didn't we what? He did like did y'all know he was down there? and uh waiting list or verified whatever yeah we're not gonna let we're not we don't want him on the show we're not gonna you know, let him on the show i don't want to bring a little 12 year old boy on here just so we can uh, lie you know what i mean yeah I just, I, he's, I he's so yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna talk to him i'm just gonna talk to his fucking parents that's all i'm not gonna talk to him i just call his yeah um okay. yeah one sec hold on i'm trying to find he, he comes in with 15 different fucking names you know what I mean? he's oh, not yeah. dude, but Hey guys, what's up? And in today's video, and without any further ado, oh, I'm going to show you how to make $9 trillion in five seconds on GTA Online. So anyway. Oh, who's that? Who was that dude? Uh, that other dude that was blasting the fuck out of Jeff today. Um, oh, that was some dude named, I forget his name. We ought to get him on the show. He's got a decent yeah, amount of followers. Me, he, he DM me and asked me how I know Jeff, and I'm like, Oh, uh, we did a live show for a year, but all he wanted to do was scam kids. And he was like, can you prove that? And I was like, yeah, dude, I can prove all that shit. And he's like, oh, cool, sweet. Hey, here's his Yeah, we'll get in touch with him. Oh, wait, whoops. Put in the main chat. Oh, you dude, don't. Do oh, shit. I deleted do it. It's all good. Dude. Oh, yeah, don't, don't be doing that dude. shit, man. <laughs> That's added to the suit. Added to the lawsuit. Yeah, added to the lawsuit. Me. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still everybody. waiting on papers from like five people. Dude, such bullshit. I sue everybody. Fucking. Yeah, I'll be right back, head. guys. That's fine, T. Pot's getting to him, guys. 
Why did he run like a bitch though when you came in? That's what I'm curious. Why are his parents Why? letting him do drugs and drink? I don't think, dude. I don't think that they know, but they're about to find out if I can. Get <laughs> and it's yeah. all on his Snapchat, and I have it all downloaded. If he goes and tries to delete it all right now. Oh, he got in trouble at the school earlier for that shit too. Did he get popped no, at school? How did he get in trouble at school for it? I know one of his own buddies, one of his own friends, called the school and told him. That, yeah, that's ah! what happened. That's what Why? Happened. What? <laughs> His buddy was worried for him. Are you yeah, serious? They're, they're his friends now, though. No yeah, yeah, way. Even, 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 well, even though, like, I don't, like, I think pot laws are stupid and all that shit should be legal, but uh, yeah. I still think that's funny as fuck that his friend wanted to pull DM me that number, goddammit. I did. I PM'd you it. No, I ain't no Discord probably, dude. Uh, yeah, I did. But... Discord. Oh, uh... He's a little slow, he. Sorry about that. Right now. Fuck you, bitch. I'll fire your ass and put you in that slop house where I'm <laughs> Calling you. I'm calling right now. Alright. That's uh, a landline, though, huh? Yeah, it's a landline. It's their house number. I don't know if it's. What, what's, what's his dad's name? Dimitri? Yeah, Dimitri. Alright, I'm Dimitri calling right now. His mom name is, uh, fuck. What's his mom? Julia. Name? Julia. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm calling Good right Julia. the fuck. Calling right the fuck now. Hang on. I don't know if they'll answer. I got a dip, though. I gotta go eat dinner. Alright, man. Be Later, out. Heath. Nice talking to you guys. Peace. It's our buddy Heath. Oddly enough, his last name is Tutorials. Okay, yeah, I can't. I mean, should I just should I just not block my number? Because I, I think totally I legit. think so. It's Who totally cares? Legit. I mean, why no, not? dude, he needs to say no. You can't talk to him. You need to tell his mommy or daddy that he needs to stop stalking and harassing us on the here, internet. Here, hold on, I'm calling right now. I'm calling right now. Leave a voicemail if they're not there. Calling from the burner. Yeah, he said nobody would answer. See if you can leave a message, dude. I will. Hello, and thank you for calling. Detailed message and your phone number. Return your call as soon as possible. Hi, Mr. or Mrs. Zatz. I'm calling you. My name is Jeff Heggy, by the way. I'm calling you in regards to your son, Jeffrey. Uh, he keeps emailing me from a fake lawyer called Melanie uh, saying he's going to sue me. You need the police have been notified. I, I'm sure you have my number on your caller ID. You might want to call me back. Uh, it's not just me. It's multiple people have reported this to the police department. I'm trying to give you a courtesy call. Maybe we can discuss this and, you know, maybe you should pay more attention to your kid. But what he does is if he doesn't like something online, he threatens people with a fake lawyer. And when I told him he's a minor and he can't sue people, you know, he argues with you and this needs to stop. So if you could give me a call back at the number on your caller ID, I'd appreciate it. Like I said, you should be hearing from the police if you haven't already heard from them. Um, there's multiple people who have complained about this to the police. So you might want to keep an eye on your son, maybe uh, put him in check, because th this isn't going to go on any longer than tonight. And he always says, go ahead and call my parents. They don't care what I do. So that's what I'm doing. So if you could give me a call back at the number you see on your caller ID, it'd be much appreciated, Mr. and Mrs. Zatz. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Oh, you sure. fuck! You fucked that up, man. Their How's last name, their, their last name's tutorials, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, All yeah. I have to say, dude. No, no, no. All I have to say is, Brovo, Brovo. Yeah, dude. Like, what did I do? Did, did I do anything illegal right there? Anything nope, illegal? not a goddamn thing. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I'm trying to give them a, the courtesy because I'm sick and tired of hearing everybody telling me like they called the police. I called the police, dude. The police told me they talked to his parents, and we didn't hear from Jeff for, what, six weeks? Now, all of a sudden, Trump retweets a tweet that he <laughs> stole, and now his head gets real big. Well, yep. maybe they'll call me back. Maybe they won't. He'll probably delete the fucking voicemail. He's right there right now well, deleting his parents it. Are, his parents are out at the sushi bar. So, anyway, <laughs> dude, take, take, a, take a break. What? Take a break, you just bro. came back. I got to piss. Don't fucking, then don't take a break. I'll be right back, bitch. Oh, Lord.
All Fuck right. You, T, we'll go what? back into what were we talking about before? Uh, uh, net neutrality. Movie, no, oh, net, yeah, neutrality. net neutrality. Um, I think I finished explaining it, right? D you, you got a good idea? Basically, yeah, like I got the basic gist of it. Yeah, I know what Yeah, and about. I mean, this is obviously only being voted on in America, but uh, if net neutrality is repealed, um, you know, in the U.S., then it, it's going to trickle out to everywhere else. Oh, exactly. uh, it, it's going to be a huge issue. And if you value information and you value this website, I mean, I know every single person here should definitely be pro net neutrality because you obviously like YouTube. And if you want YouTube to not get any worse than it already is, please support net neutrality and please educate those around you. Um, people like hydrant who don't know what the fuck net neutrality is. Um, and if you have to, you know, just, just, explain to them in the simplest terms possible how it is bad and why it is bad the only people to profit from this will be the isps which is the internet service providers so please spread that message and that's our part to do what we can to help with net neutrality um so t a lot of people they like our paranormal discussions man so i was thinking what if i just go to reddit and just pull something from our paranormal and we'll talk about it that sounds good. And we're back with TNT. Um, shit, dude. Hey, we'll be just... careful the copyright on that thing. <laughs> My voice isn't <laughs> that good. Don't worry. Um, ooh, this is a wicked one. Fiance and I woke up at the same time screaming. Um, shit, should I just like read the story? It's not, yeah, I it's think that long. might be the best way. Well, yeah, I mean, does that sound interesting? I mean, is this worth a read, do you think? I think so. I don't know what the people think, but I love anything paranormal. Eh, I'll read it, fuck it, and then uh, we'll ask people at the end if they liked it. Last night, my significant other and I woke up screaming, like fear for our lives screaming. Shall I do it like a reading? I can still hear how primal he sounded in my mind. Almost more like loud grunts than screaming. He said that I was screaming too, but I don't remember, though my throat is sore, like it was. It went on for nearly 30 seconds. He doesn't remember screaming either, pure fear. I've never felt like that before. My blood felt frozen in my veins, and I sat up in bed, completely immobile, staring at his face. His eyes opened wide and mouth agape. He left for work before I woke up. I texted him this morning and asked what the fuck happened last night. He said he just remembers waking up and I was screaming, and that my face was contorted and unrecognizable. He said he felt like there was something in the room with us. His flight or fight, ugh, his fight or flight reflexes kicked in. I don't remember feeling a presence per se, but I was absolutely terrified. While I was getting dressed, I noticed that I had what looked like dried blood on my stomach, but no cuts on my body. Upon further inspection, I had a substantial amount of blood underneath my fingernails as well. This kind of thing has never happened to me before. I am pretty skeptical of quote-unquote paranormal happenings, and I've never really had one before. I don't even know if this was one, but it is certainly unexplained. Honestly, I'm afraid to go home and sleep. I don't ever want to feel that way again. Has this ever happened to anyone else? Anything like this at all? Do I burn some fucking sage or what? And that's the end of the story. Oh, yeah, that's kind of messed that up. That was like, me you... trying to do my best, like, creepy reading voice. It actually wasn't too bad, I gotta say. But fuck, yeah, that's something kind of weird there. Like, yeah, I've never experienced anything like that. Like, that's... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty wild, dude. Like, I always like it, too, when I read these and they're like, I don't believe in this shit. Like, you know, like, I mean, I don't... I don't believe in ghosts and shit, but I do believe in the paranormal because it just there there's things that we don't know about. I mean, that's just a mathematical probability. Oh yeah, exactly. Like considering the whole universe, we got to probably know less than 1% about everything. And I mean, if this is a legit true experience that this happened to them, I don't know how I would explain it. The top comment says sounds more like an alien abduction. And then the, Actually, the yeah, original, the OP original poster says, ugh, that's what my SO said. So that's, that's that was a pretty good one, man. I was, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that because if they both woke up at the same time and then nobody's got a wound, like, 
That's yeah, really that's the weird. thing when it's when it's two people experiencing the same thing. That, like that. that does like I mean if you if you had to take the paranormal route to try to explain that and if it really did happen that way that does sound like an alien abduction over ghosts or anything like that. Yeah, and that's and again for people who say that kind of shit can't be can't be possible. You got to consider the size of the whole universe. Like, there's got to be something else out there. Um, shit. See, here's one like. A photo and my girlfriend took this creepy photo back in 2012 i don't have it available right now to show my screen to like show it so we're not gonna do that right now but i'm kind of curious what do you guys think of uh tnt talking about paranormal shit um type tnt in the chat if you're enjoying it uh, i'm just kind of curious so uh maybe i'll grab one more while we wait on um fucking hydrant <laughs> this sounds kind of funny a ghost tried to crash my birthday a couple of years ago does that sound funny, T? That does. All right. On my 25th birthday, we went to the same Irish pub that we always end up at for everyone's birthday. It's in a really old building downtown. I believe it used to be a pharmacy, and about seven to eight years ago, they made it into a pub after it set, it set empty for years. God, I can't read for shit tonight. We didn't have any odd encounters that night, and the lady in the mirror wasn't even noticed until the next day when my friend was going through images of the previous night. We were doing what all basic drunk white girls do in the restroom, taking a selfie. We know for a fact no one else was in the restroom on behalf it's small and only has two stalls. It's a bit on the creepy side, and fuck, it's a picture. It's not even like a fucking story. I'm going to go look at the picture, and I'll let you guys know. Oh, that's pretty creepy, but uh, I don't know if it's fake or not. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to tell with those pictures nowadays. I'll drop so the weird. I'll drop the link. Hold on, we'll try this. Um, oh, did a lot of people type TNT? I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, quite a few. Okay, cool. Um, so I just dropped a, a link into the chat if you want to see the picture. It's oh. probably photoshopped, but um, I would have to really look closer at it to be able to tell for sure. But that that sure as shit does look like pretty pretty legit. Yeah, that does. It could also be some like someone they know dressed up and makeup. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It could be fake. You that's know. the thing. It's hard to say with these, but it, it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's that's super crazy. Um, All right, here's one uh, paranormal stuff going on in my bedroom, question mark. Um, Where are you reading all that shit from? Reddit. Ah, oh, fuck. Are you back now? Can we continue yeah, with yeah, the show? Yeah. I mean, we enjoy our, our TNT segments. Well, fuck you then. I'll just quit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what were we doing before? Was... Did you did you listen to uh, my spill on net neutrality since you're uneducated about it? No, no I didn't. Well, you need to be pro-net neutrality if you enjoy yeah, the internet. You don't give a... Of course you don't. Because mostly everything you say is like Fugazi bullshit. It's you're not liberal, Fugazi bullshit. How is it Fugazi bullshit? You're liberal bullshit, dude. I just don't want to hear your liberal. Your liberal. I'm not liberal. I'm not liberal. <laughs> I'm not a snowflake. I have a job. I pay taxes. So you say. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that and I, and that's and let me guess. I live at I, home with my parents. This isn't I my think house. You do just like I do. I think that you're having <laughs> tonight. Oh shit! Yo, can I get that meatloaf? Oh shit! No one. You gotta yell at the top of your lungs, Mom! <laughs> Do that shit. Ma! Ma! Hey, yo, bitch! What, <laughs> what, what, what movie was that? that? Oh, that was Wedding Singer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a uh, good one. Yeah. Waiting on a call back from Jeff's mommy. I guess it's not going to happen. I got a DM from a Mr. Tutorial saying, have fun leaving voicemails. Oh, so he is listening, of course. <laughs> Why the fuck does he even listen? Like, what the fuck? He's Hello. obsessed. Yeah, it's like, dude, are you love me that much? Like, what the fuck, man? Whatever, dude. Like, I don't, whatever. I don't care. Like, I mean, have fun leaving. It wasn't really fun. I mean, I'm sure he, I'm sure he ran up there and deleted it real quick, but whatever. Oh, yeah, you can be guaranteed. He was Trust right there, believe. probably. Trust and believe. Maybe, that. maybe we just need to call a few times per day at different times until we get an answer. Well, he goes to school still, doesn't he? It's summer, yeah, right? Not, oh, not he's not in summer school. school. No, I remember him saying that he's in summer school because he's retarded. 
He failed classes. <laughs> yeah, I remember him saying that too. Like, remember that time we talked to him on three-way and he was crying because he's like, "I got two years to graduate and I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life." <laughs> he was asking me for career yeah, advice and, and all we this like, shit. Dude, we, when we were 16, we didn't know either. Just figure it out, you big. Bitch. Oh, I've got break news, guys. Break uh-huh. news as of 7 14 17 8 uh, 31 p.m. This tweet coming from our good friend over at Larry's Lounge, Uncle Larry himself. I have to say that the water has cleared up nicely ever since that huge turd has left the waters here. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> Larry, well, you know, thank you for you being a loyal part, fan. The fucked up part is that I can't, I can't tweet him, though. I'm he just tweeted right now. He's listening. He's totally one, fucking listening wait, right me, now. Let me see if my new account is tweeted. Uh, it is deleted. Let me see if my new, aqu- my new account is blocked. Oh, it's got. If it's not, I'll be surprised hang as on, fuck. If it is, that just shows you how, like, paranoid and obsessive he is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If he blocked my new shit, he's a fucking stalker like Coat. <laughs> you mean Boat? Yeah, I'm, I'm blocked. No way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, wow, dude. dude. He blocked my new Twitter that I just made yesterday. He's, well, dude, he stalks Twitter us. Twitter was 10 years old, but it, I never had it. I did never used it. Proven stalker. Wow, dude. That's sad. He's listening right now, dude. He's so legit fucking listening. Now, now I'm a turd? <laughs> I think I think Larry wants to play, dude. I think Larry wants to play. He does, yeah, because he's he ain't getting no views doing what he's doing. He needs us to get yeah. himself. Why is he calling me a turd, man? You're not a turd. You're a poopy face. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, dude, I'm, he blocked my new fucking shit already, damn, dude. I Yo, even... L- Larry, since you're listening. I fucking, dude, I just confirmed. I just, dude, I just, I, I figured it out. I went to it. I'm blocked. <laughs> dude. Yo, I, I wish I could show you guys. I'm fucking straight blocked. Oh, hold on. Update. <laughs> Somebody else tweeted, was Trump on vacation there? Larry responds, no, it was much worse than him. Spelled then wrong. I might have under understated what wait, it was wait. actually. LOL. How did he How did he block my brand new Twitter already? It's been one day. He's he's stalking you, dude. He's li- <laughs> he's listening right, dude. He's listening right now, and I want to say, <laughs> next year, yes, at the beach. Listen, next year, next year, Larry, we're gonna go to the beach again. We'll let you know when we're gonna be there. I'm not you going go there, to. Dude, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to like Aruba or some shit. Okay, well. Then you can meet us in Aruba, Larry. It's funny that he we'll collab. I don't know if he's instantly. selling enough of those beer caddies and freaking. <laughs> no, dude. I think I think he I think he listens to our show to try to like learn how to make content. In it's all honesty, content. dude, he's just ripping us off now, dude. That's all him and his what fucking do friend do is they just. What like... do you like, dude? What do you expect from a fucking seventy-year-old loser? Like, I mean, come on. His retard nerd son was like. Remember when they got in that fake fight? He's like, I pay you to edit my video. <laughs> but he never edits nothing. He makes a video like how to cook fucking macaroni and cheese. Like, what the fuck? They, no, the, the funny <laughs> thing is he's, he's out there on vacation with his family and his wife. And what's he doing? He's sitting there listening to Three Sheets Live. Uh, yeah, dude. On <laughs> no, you know, you know what's going on right now? Him, Big Brother, Jesse, they're all sitting there together listening. All of them. That's funny, dude. That's fucking sad. Like, how pathetic is your They're like, these guys are our biggest haters, man. We got to know exactly what they say about us, dude. They called us out for being fake and ripping off nine-year-old kids. Oh, dude. They're... Hey. blocked them on Twitter. People are now making memes of us and sending it to Larry. Miranda's sitting here, like, just going through Twitter and just showing me shit. That's hilarious. Good. Fuck it. Oh, and people are tweeting at him, asking him if he's listening to 3SL. I guarantee he is. Why, how else would I be blocked, dude? This Twitter account, I just started yesterday. Like, how, why would he block me? Insta- how would he even know? Like, how would he know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, it's like, the tw- Miranda's showing me the tweets, and it's like going back and forth. And just like, it, there's like some people that like hate him and are just like trolling him. And then there's some people that are talking shit about us. It's hilarious. Half of the people there on his Twitter account hate him. <laughs> That's fucking, dude, how sad is that? Like, so he's on vacation with the rest of his retard family and always worried about is me. What the fuck? 
And he's gonna have to spend all night blocking all these people that are talking shit about him on his, on his Twitter. That's kind of funny too. Yeah, he, about three or four you hours know this. Blocking, somebody, somebody tweeted him and said, "Hey, when's your one million subscriber party? <laughs> Kate, I'm sure you're blocked now." <laughs> so he called. He called me a turd, and he called me a woman. Now, oh. is that something the good Lord would do? Would the good Lord <laughs> call somebody a turd? The big baby Jesus would not do that. And I don't, I don't think, think the big baby would. Jesus thinks it's K one bit. <laughs> Dude, the big baby Jesus would never <laughs> call anybody a turd. Come on, man. Larry, just come on the show already. You know you want to. You know you're sitting nah, there dude, standing dude, up laying down. Dude, I ain't beat an old man's ass in 20 years. You know, I beat <laughs> an old man's ass. Bring up and down the me. goddamn street. It's all good, though. I'm not even mad at Larry. Fucking scammer like his nephew. Fuck it. I'm not mad. I just think it's funny as shit like that we get under his skin like well, that. I think it's sad <laughs> that, you know, he used remember he was... Do you guys honestly remember when he was having this big 1 million subscriber blowout party? <laughs> Yeah, and he was and he was telling all the jug gays to bring like you know, hey, you guys come, on. dude. They're all nine years old, Larry. Well, they don't have to drink, dude. dude. He's he would literally have to rent a Chuck E. Cheese for that party. But at his peak, he had like six fifty. Now he's down. To, is he down? Is he mm -mm. below five hundred yet? No, he hit seven hundred k. I think. No, dude, he's like at five something. He's way. Below. Nah, he he's hit seven hundred. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Oh, you mean at his peak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah at his peak. Yeah. yeah. Well, being that, now, being no. That yeah, now he's like, dude. I don't even know if he's. I don't even know if he's at five yet. Uh, he's at five hundred and ninety-seven thousand. <laughs> yeah, because I remember, like, dude, I remember seeing all the hashtags. Get Larry dude, under six. As soon as you type in Larry Lounge, our live stream right now is at the top of the search results. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> fuck that old, fuck that old vinyl selling fuck. Oh fuck, that's he hilarious. Get, and he wants to get Shrek as his fucking teammate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Man, like, I wish he would have that one million party, dude. I'd make a special trip up there just to go. That'd be a put great the fence video. Up to keep you out. Well, I'd go to the door. I mean, what's he going to do? It's a, I thought he was having a public pro uh, uh, fucking party. I, I know he made a video a while ago, and he was like, yeah, you know, I have so many fans. I got to keep them out of my property. What happened to your channel, though, once Jesse came out as being fake? Like, what happened? Well, your shit just went negative in the red. He's upset because you got to look at it this way, dude. This is how embarrassing it is. So we get more views making fun of his content than he yeah. gets on his actual content. And yeah, he has, being real. he has almost 600,000 subs and we got 24 K. <laughs> you, you, you can't, you can't say like he has almost 600,000. You got to say it like this. He has almost 500,000 because they're leaving every day. Cause he sucks. Exactly. You know, and half of them, fucking complete half garbage. of them are only yep. sub to him. Jesse. They probably don't even watch. What do you mean? What do you mean half, dude? Well, Ninety nine point eight percent of those motherfuckers sub because they were told to do it. This channel's fucking garbage. I mean, it's just fucking garbage. This channel fucking. Well, sucks. it's like it failed. It's like when you're a kid and you find out Santa's fake. It's like the magic's gone, and so is everything that goes with it. And so when these little kids and and these sadly older people as well found out for sure, 100%, from Jesse himself that he's fake, they are all like, this is dumb. Why am I watching this? What have I been doing with my life? These people are fucking losers. They can't make content worth a shit. Like, you know, that's why that's why they just plummeted, dude. I guarantee you in the next year or two, like, he'll be on one of those top ten lists of, like, dead YouTube channels. It'll be like, this YouTube channel, not, not Larry, but Jesse. Well, either way, we're over the two hours. I'm done. I'm getting the fuck out of here. All right. I got, uh, shit, I got shit to do. I got whiskeys to drink. I got fuck. I think you've had enough, sir. Uh, tomorrow night, let's do one. <clears throat> fuck it. Why let's not? do one on my channel. Yeah, I'm down with that, dude. I'm down with that. All right. Um, you're, you're a turd. <laughs> <laughs> you're a poopy face turd, dude. You know, the last time I was called a turd, I'm, I'm going to say was third or fourth grade. I would have to say the same thing, I think. But Shit, dude, at least. There's no, <laughs> there's no hate needed. Just love. Oh, and fuck you. <laughs> no hate needed, just love. Fuck you. That should be one of our shirts. Uh, yeah, so we need to work on that. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm getting on that this weekend, actually. 
everybody who came out tonight, man. I appreciate it. I love you all. Don't forget, if you don't follow me on my new Twitter accounts, my old one's fucked up. It should be restored. They said a few days. I'm uh, thinking either tomorrow at worst or Monday. Monday. Yeah, it, it may not be till Monday, but it'll be there. But either way, like I don't give a fuck. Follow the temporary one. Don't give a rat's ass. Follow the turd. With the new uh, Twitter, Jeff Hagee, 3SL. J E F F H A G Y, 3SL. And it's in oh, the description as well. Yeah, so anyway, man, I'll fuck with y'all later, man. No hate needed, just love and go fuck yourself. <laughs> that should be your closing every time now. To everybody who came out tonight, man, I appreciate it, man. There was, what, 200 earlier, now we got 115, but... Hashtag it's... Brovo. Hashtag Brovo. Hashtag Lion Crying Boob. Hashtag Brovo. And I'll see you all, man, and uh, I'm out. You guys enjoy the night. Close the shit out. Keep going. Do what you gotta do, but I'm out, man. I'll fuck with y'all later. Peace. Peace, dog. T, closing Peace. remarks. Uh, I just, no hate needed, only love, and come see us tomorrow night. No, you said it wrong. It's no hate needed, just love. Fuck you. Close enough, and have a good day, sir. Yeah, I mean, you can add that on, but, you know, it's 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 up to you. But, uh... uh either one works. But yeah, tomorrow, you know, we'll do. Are you? You're down for a stream tomorrow, right, T? Yeah, I'm. Oh yeah, I got lots of whiskey. We'll probably. Yo, you guys should all hit up T and I on Twitter and let you let us know what you want for our segment T and T, and uh, what kind of paranormal shit you want us to talk about. Um, I think I, I think I know what I want. Like, I was gonna save it for like the first time if we really did a paranormal stream, but. I don't know. We may do. We may go on and do it. But uh, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll send you like a DM or something and let you know like after the show what the topic is, so you can look at it too, just to have a an extra heads up. But um, I think cool. we'll talk cool. about some paranormal shit tomorrow, man. I'll... Yeah, that sounds good for sure. Because like I say, I've experienced some, some some shit in the last five years, ten years of my life that in my childhood, like in growing up, I never experienced nothing. And just the last few years, I've seen some weird weird things. Yeah, so whatever you guys want to hear the three of us talk about tomorrow, get at me on DMs, uh, you know, get at T, um, you can get at Hagee, you can get at any of us, uh, just let us know what you want to see, we'll be on Tyndall Media tomorrow, T, I'm going to close this shit out and get the fuck out of here myself, man, great time as Ooh. always. Talk to you later. Alright. Alright guys, uh, that was TNT, and now it's, uh... TWT time with Tyndall. So let's queue up a track and uh, let's let's get us out of here, man. Um, shit, I don't even know which one I need to do. Eh. All right, guys. Anyway, we'll be back tomorrow on uh, Tyndall Media. YouTube.com slash T-I-N-D double I-L. Let us know if there's anything else you want us to talk about. Um, clearly we got some stuff lined up. Um, also over on uh, Tyndall Media, I'm going to be getting up at least one video this week. And I know I promised you guys there's going to be one a day, but it just ain't happening. So I'm going to try to make it up to you guys with uh, at least a couple videos this weekend. Um, I think I can get at least two, maybe three out. Um, I got you guys the unboxing last week, so I'll try to hit you up with, uh, you know, at least a couple videos this weekend. As always, thanks for tuning in with us, guys. We appreciate you so much, and, um, I'm Tyndall. This is Three Sheets Live. We love you motherfuckers, and, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow on Tyndall Media. I'm out of here, guys. Peace. <laughs>